Ricardo. Hey, how y'all doing today? Good afternoon, everybody, or good morning, or good evening. Thank you for much, so much for the subs, by the way. Um, thank you to Onyx Kai, Maglot, uh, Blake with a, uh, Veronica Dreamfield, the Many Mangoes. Thank you guys so much for your subs. Really appreciate it. Ben, it's Kaveh's birthday. Yeah, I I know. I've been I've been told. Um. Hello, everyone. Thank you so much for for stopping by. <laughs> okay, Scott. A lot of first timers in chat I'm seeing. Thank you so much with RT for the prime sub. And color splash for 100 bits. Oh my god, guys, calm down. <laughs> Angel's Crown, thank you so much for the sub. Literally every time I I start, it's the hype train, and I'm just like, guys, you don't have to <laughs> you don't have to do that. <laughs> I'm just I'm just here to to entertain and to hang out and do all this stuff. Oh my God! A wild blue man. Thank you so much. D uh, disaster lesbian. Thank you. And Amelie. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for your subs, guys. Really appreciate it. It's. We, you have the level 3 hype train, whatever that means. I still don't know. Uh, I'm still not familiar with the goofy, wacky wahoo Twitch stuff. Uh, Reming Ale, thank you so much for subscribing. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm, I'm doing good. Thanks for asking. People that are asking how I'm doing, uh... I'm doing pretty good. I'm, uh, it's been, it's been a hectic few couple of weeks. Um, what with, like, Slam Dunk being announced. Silver Lass AV, thank you so much for subscribing. Really appreciate it. Um, yeah, first Slam Dunk was, like, a big thing that I was, uh... Oh, is my voice low? Let me just... Is that a bit better? Yeah, so for, uh, everybody who hasn't seen yet... Uh, I'm gonna be playing Sakuragi in, uh, the first Slam Dunk in theaters. Uh, it, it premieres July 25th. Um, some people said that I'll never be ballin', uh, but it turns out I am really ballin'. And a lifetime of saying, haha, get dunked on has led to, obviously, me being the main character of Slam Dunk. Uh, so yeah. I'm really excited for it, and uh, I hope you guys get to watch it. It, it. It's not... It's not in the same vein as Genshin, but... Oh! Uh, I... I Ants420, thank you so much for subscribing! Uh, Sation, thank you so much for subscribing. Nojiko444, and Oh, It's Rem, thank you so much for your subscriptions, guys. Really appreciate it. But again, you don't have to do the hype train thing. I, I feel like this is like a PSYOP that uh, Twitch is pushing to make you spend money. <laughs> you don't have to do it. Ventria uh, X, thank you so much for your Prime Sub. Will you go watch the Barbie movie? I would actually like to watch it. It looks really fun. Um, but yeah, uh, 
Really excited for Slam Dunk. Tomorrow, I should have another announcement happening that I think a lot of people are going to be excited for, so... Um, please look forward to that. Cookie Wyvern, thank you so much for subscribing. Um... So, it's... it's gonna be... I'm not gonna dress up for Barbie, I'm sorry. I don't have any looks that would work. Uh, today we're gonna be playing, uh, Genshin, obviously. For the... for the boy. And... We're gonna do the Sumeru quest line. I've been, like, sitting at the beginning of the Sumeru quest line, like, right at the start line. For almost a year. Wasabi! Thank you so much for gifting five subs. Really appreciate it. I'm a Persona fan, but I'm also more of a Shin Megami Tensei fan. Can you can I give you a clue about my announcement? Please look forward to it. Uh, I haven't started any of the like side quests for Sumeru, so I'm interested to see how it goes down. Uh, Solar D, thank you so much for the sub, and Telegraph, thank you so much for gifting a Good sub time. to Tubby Burrito, and thank you for the cheers and the bits. Oh my God, 1,000 bits from 11 lobsters in a bucket. Um, yeah, I do want to get to the Kave hangout eventually. Um, if I've ever seen Legend of the Galactic Heroes, bro, I'm in Legend of the Galactic Heroes. I did a bunch of bits for different episodes. Really good show. Um, but yeah, like we're going to get started in just a second, guys. Uh... But I do kind of want to talk about something that's been happening lately in terms of uh, voice acting. Um, why haven't I uploaded the Q and A part of the Among Us stream? Oh, that's because that was a that was like a, a, a thing that I want to keep to the people that were there. I'm gonna do other Q A's later. Like it's, but I I, I want to be able to like the f build FOMO because I'm a horrible person. Um. So. Yeah, um, I did want to talk about um, AI stuff because that's been uh, that's been uh, the talk of the town lately. Uh, as we all know, uh, Erica Limbeck has taken a break from Twitter because uh, somebody uploaded an AI cover of her character in Persona singing a song, and that shit is not kosher. Eni89, thank you so much for the sub. Um, it's really fucked up, and it's 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 a, it's becoming a problem. And I've already said this in a previous stream, but I really want to like stress it again. I do not give my consent to have AIs made out of my voice, out of any of the characters I voice, because um, like again, you're training a machine to eventually replace me and like the AI isn't gonna stream for you I mean I may be in the future but I don't think it can be as funny as I am question mark um but yeah I just wanted to because like here's the thing about AIs and like training training them to to replicate actors the thing is like not only are you putting the actor potentially out of work in the future, you're also endangering new actors that want to be able to break in. Because, like, say, for example, you want to hear Kave doing a, a song cover or whatever. Here's something you can do. You can hire somebody, you can book somebody that sounds like me. Like, I I think my voice isn't that unique. Um, There's people that could potentially sound like me. And you can hire them for your work. And yeah, it's not going to be me, but like, it's going to be somebody's own interpretation of the character, which is still valid. Like, um, the, the Jealous song that a billion people shared to me and still do. Uh, I love you guys, but yeah, I've seen the video. Um, 
That one used a guy that sounds like me. It didn't use AIs. And they sound great. They sound fine. That video is really cool. Like, it's... it's there's there's a pipeline for a lot of actors to do fan stuff before they start breaking into original stuff. And, like, AI stops that from happening. Like, it doesn't let people break in through that direction, and they have to use different, uh, like, methods, you know? So, using AI, like, you're, you're screwing over so many people. Just because, haha, funny, uh... Funny thing. Funny, I make the man say funny words against uh, their will. Um, so yeah, like, it's... Once again, guys, like, I don't consent to it. I, it really hurts me seeing AI stuff. I have seen AI stuff already of Kaveh. And, like, it, it hurts. It sucks. It's a reminder that my... That my... That this is all gonna go away forever, possibly. Um... So if you see any of that kind of content, like, don't send death threats to the person making it, obviously. Like, come on. But, you know, a gentle reminder that, hey, you know, Ben said they don't consent to this. So maybe, maybe, like, private it or report it or something. It's, it's, like, don't make a big deal out of it. Like, I'm making a big deal out of it now because I want people to be informed. But like I'm not gonna I'm not gonna QRT things and be like go my putties kill them, like no I'd rather just like silently block ignore report and and um and move on with my life because I feel like drawing attention to it just makes it worse. And you know as as shitty as it is like the Erica Limbeck situation is a good example of that like. She tried to get this video taken down, and now there's like eight mirrors and re-uploads re because people saw that it was getting a lot of attention, and people, like some horrible monsters on the internet, just want to re-upload shit and make it all bad for everybody. Because they can. So, that's, um, that's the deal with AI. And, like, it also, like, especially for Kave, man, like, again... Uh, everything I say is not canon. Like, take everything I say with my grain of salt. This is my own opinion. But I feel like AI art kind of goes against what Kave would stand for. Like, art is is human expression and human pain and, like, the joy of, of life. And I feel like if you're making AI stuff related to Kave, you're kind of missing the point. You're, you're kind of missing the entire reason this character is still fighting for his life. Because of the joy of art. So, if you're, if you're doing AI stuff with Kabe, <laughs> I don't want to call you a fake fan or anything. You're still allowed to do whatever you want, but like, maybe uh, think about it. Thank you guys so much for the sub, Siragami for the Prime sub, XML07 uh, for the Prime sub, and Katara Grayson for a three month streak. And thank you so much for your kind words. I really appreciate it. But like, yeah. And if you make the excuse like, well, Mirac's an AI, it's like that's that's not the point. Mirac is literally a toolbox with uh, with sentience. You can make a sentient toolbox. I can't stop you from doing that. That would be cool. But please don't please don't make AI like art. It's it's I think that Kave would disagree with this and he would fight to stop it. But that's just my opinion. So, so yeah, that's, that's my piece on it. Um, you can tell your friends and family that I, I'm not a fan of AI. Um, even though I have laughed at AI-generated stuff, like Presidents playing Destiny 2 or whatever. Like, it's, it's still, like, bad, <laughs> is the thing. Uh, Vieux Blue Cure, thank you so much for your subscription. Really appreciate it. 
Uh, so yeah. Um, I'm gonna start opening the video game now so we can get started. Yeah, Me Meganog, if you want to do that, go go for it. I can't stop people from making content out of my streams. Um, like, people are on TikTok sharing clips of stuff I've said here. So, like, I... It, you guys can do whatever you want. <laughs> um, Kitness, thank you so much for subscribing, and Kah Kahili Takami? Kahili Takami. Thank you for so much for the sub. Um, Amber Armed Heart, thank you so much for the Prime sub. Say What, thank you so much for the Prime sub. Um, I'm still scared of my broken legs. Uh, there have been a lot of people asking me to, like, canonize things, and guys, I can't do it. I am a contract actor for the company, and... I, I cannot give my opinions on things because it would reflect the opinions of the company. So, stop asking me to do things, please. <laughs> I, I don't want to die. Also, this goes for uh, voice requests. I've gotten a lot of emails from people asking me to, like, hey, like, hey, can you say this as Kaveh? I can't do any of that, guys. Like, I... I will slip into a voice that is akin to some character from Genshin in uh, Impact during my streams, but, like, that's because that's my voice. That's just how I sound sometimes. Um, but specifically doing Kave voice requests, like, I can only really do that at, like, cons with specific guidelines. Um, so, like... I, again, I'm really, I'm really happy that people want like me to say all these things as Kave, and they want like cool gifts for their friends. But like, I just, I'm not allowed to do it. Is the thing I, I'm not allowed. I'll, I will be reading Kave's birthday letter though. Though, I think in-game content, I think is 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 a okay. I think we'll be fine with that. So, um, yeah. And again, like you can hire people that sound like me, like. I, I'm not the kind of person that gets upset over, uh, like, oh, you hired a sound-alike to do this Kave thing? Like, no, do it! I'm really curious to know how people interpret my voice and, um, what choices they make. I think it, it's kind of like having stunt doubles. Like, I think that's really cool. <laughs> uh, yes, that's correct. Uh... At, at, at Kixie. Um, I've already spoken to other people about the diagnosis, and, like, there is a legal thing in the way. Which is probably why the cover hasn't happened yet. Because there is, there is, le if, if people really want a fan th thing to happen, um, and it doesn't happen, like, it's, it's probably because there's a legal thing that's in the way. That, that is stopping everybody. Uh, copyright laws don't fuck around, so... What are my pronouns? I answer to anything. Um, gender... Gender isn't really that important to my existence. I want to be seen as Ben before I'm seen as a gender, if that makes any sense. I will literally answer to anything, just as long as you're talking to me. Like, if you, if you, like, I, somebody called me Steve at one point during one of my old jobs, and I was like, yeah. Because, like, I knew they wanted my attention, so it's like, I don't give a shit if they got the name wrong. <laughs> and then somebody else was like, that's Ben. Ben, why did you answer yes? Because it's like, yeah, because they needed something, and I didn't want to waste time, like, correcting them. Like, like, they would eventually find out my right name later, so who gives a shit? I have very little, like, self, um... Self, uh... I don't know what, how to say it. Like, self-presentation, I guess. I'm just, I'm just here. Sense of self? I do have a sense of self. Um... I know, I know what I am. 
And, like, I just let people, uh, call me whatever they want because I'm curious how they see me. And again, like, it doesn't, it doesn't, it doesn't, uh, at the end of the day, like, what does it matter what I am? I'm Ben, and that can be enough, I think. Anyway, um, let's get, let's get, a. Uh, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Oh shit, you saw my YouTube thing. Um, let's get started with this Genshin stuff. There's a noise. Yeah, don't, don't dox me based on my YouTube stream tunes playlist. Um, and my Destiny 2 subreddit tabs. God. Oh, people know I play Destiny 2 now. I guess I'm gonna have to kill myself. Um. There we go. There he is. Let me lower the game audio just a teensy bit. I should also probably stop the music in the background. It's him. It's the birthday. I should probably put like a little cave in the corner with a little party hat. Give me a give me a second, guys. Give me a second. Let me let me get this let me get this going for you. Hmm. Where's my key? Have you checked your? Not again. Have you checked your? Have you checked your suitcase, love? Party hat, transparent PNG. Whoa, this is, like, way bigger than the icon. <laughs> Alright, give me a second. Give me just one second, guys. Hmm. Hmm. Uh... There's him. And then, just give me a sec. Yes, there's gonna be a VOD. Uh, I always, um, I, uh, look how preposterously huge this party hat is. <laughs> Happy birthday, Mr. Cave. Hmm. Happy I'm birthday, Mr. Cave. Happy birthday, Mr. Cave. Happy birthday to you. Let me let me make it slightly crooked so it's more whimsical. Hmm. Look at him. <laughs> Happy to be here. <laughs> God, that's funny. Nice. He needs a cake. Let's not get carried away here. Let's not, let's not waste too much time adding stupid shit to the overlay, okay? <laughs> Alright, the letter. Let's, uh, let's read the letter. Let's, let's see the letter. Three exclamation marks. Hey, what's up? Hey, what's up? How's it going? Um, okay. <clears throat> oh. The game did something? That was weird. <clears throat> Long time no see. 
I was planning on sending you something, so I wrote this letter. I heard you're traveling all over the world. That can't be easy. I recently bought several new varieties of coffee beans to try out at home. After we compared the taste of each, we decided that this was the best. You'll find a bag of that variety attached to this letter, and I hope it'll raise your spirits in the days ahead. Life often seems as though it is a tapestry composed of un, un of undulating lines. But if it is at but if it is at all Okay, hang on. But if it is at all possible, I sincerely hope the lines drafting out your future are stable lines, ascending upwards. Safe travels. XOXOXO Cave. This dude eating beans. Okay. And there it is. Cave Cave specialty. We, oui. yeah, well, I don't know what they mean by that. I'm not gonna, ha I don't have an opinion on that. It's like that clip of, uh, of Uncle Phil from, uh, Fresh Prince going, We? Oui? <laughs> we! Oui. I mean, y'all know what it is. I know you guys. I know the things that you're into. Listen, it's whatever it's whatever you want it to be, okay? Does he know? Are you ha am I happy to be in Fontaine? No, I'm Nolm. Yeah, it's obvious. <laughs> this guy, no. it's coffee and Marac. Marac can't drink coffee. It's it'll it'll break. Can you see my cave build? It's literal garbage because I haven't been playing this game in a while. There are my thingies. Here are my terrible little artifacts. There. There, 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 there. It's all bad. I'm aware that it's bad. It's purple because I'm still uh, AR-43. I'm not here to be amazing at the game, okay? I'm here to play through the story. <laughs> Oh, there's more subs. Hang on. Um, let's give me one second, guys. Uh, Kira Trickster, 2000. Thank you so much for the sub. Kai, Kai 296 Thank you so much for getting a sub to Pandemo Pandemonic ZNA. Uh, Cursed Heretic, thank you so much for the prime sub. D for Dog, thank you for the prime sub. Tor Tori B, thank you for your sub prime. Um... I'm here to play, not to win. Uh, I think if I... I'm not going to do the event. Uh, I've decided I don't want to do the... I don't want to do the event. Uh, I know that Kaveh gets mentioned in it, but I just want to do the Archon Quest because I've been putting it off for so long because I wanted to play it on stream. Uh, so. Also, like... Yeah, my team isn't ideal either, so... Sorry. A forest. See, look, I haven't even started yet. Um, in I'm Adolfa. Thank you so much for your sub. Really appreciate it. Am I gonna do Kaveh's hangout too? Yes. I'm gonna go through all of this, and then I'll hate them's story, and then I'll do Kaveh's hangout because all those are mandatory. Holy shit. Yuvakoi, thank you so much for 10 gifted subs. Really appreciate it. Can we get French Cave? Maybe once Fontaine comes out, gang. Also, sorry if my voice keeps cracking. Like, I'm still in, like, morning mode. I haven't, uh... I haven't really fully woken up yet. Because it takes me a while. I'm like one of those old computers that takes several minutes to, like, boot up. 
Do you think we'll meet Kaveh's mom? It'll be weird. It is 2 p.m. Shut up. Um... And yeah, I'm using the the Amazon wings. Where the fuck does this start? Hello? Does it have to be the daytime? It's underground. Oh. Mind the side effects. It's in the cave. Oh, I see. The through the tunnel. It starts in the chasms. Can I, like, go through this way? I'm gonna go through this way. There it is. I sequence broke. Wow. Look at this new land. Our next objective should be to head to Samaru City and find a way to meet with Lesser Lord Kusanami. I've never seen uh, well, like I've I've watched bits and pieces of other people's streams of the story, but I haven't actually seen like all of it. Like I haven't seen the entire first act of this. So we'll see. I will I will do the the soy pointing face. Whenever anything happens, I guess. And speaking of Lesser Lord Kusanali, even though we haven't heard too much about her, she doesn't seem to be the same deity who abducted your sister. Oh, wait, hang on. Let me read this highlighted message. Love your work is... It's 3 a.m. here. Oh, dude, go to sleep. This isn't worth staying up for. <laughs> um, But thank you so much for the kind words. Really, really appreciate it. I'm also a big fan of Tenza, so... That's good stuff. June Zero, thank you so much for gifting 10 subs. Really appreciate it. Hot damn. Thank you. Yeah, thank you so much for the support, guys. It means a lot. It makes me feel bad that I can't stream as often as I should be, but um, this upcoming season of anime like, is going to be a lot more yentl, so I will have time to stream a bit more. I was thinking... Would anybody be down to watch me play Pikmin? Like, Pikmin 1 through 3? In preparation for Pikmin 4? I'm like, that's Dendro, right? <laughs> that's Dendro. <laughs> Thank you so much for gifting two subs, Amber Armed Heart. Really appreciate it. Cool. Thank you for letting me know. I will take that into consideration. Um, cause I don't want to just stream Genshin. I've already said that, I've said that quote from person who's streamed nothing but Genshin. I don't want to stream and nothing but Genshin. God, dude, okay. Deken Pecans, I also grew up watching Chugga Conroy, so I, I get it. Ra Raven Serio, thank you so much for your subscription. And I L Y underscore Kave. I don't know what that means. But thank you so much for your subscription. Really appreciate it. All right, sounds like a plan. F Wanderlust, thank you so much for your subscription. I know what it means, guys. I'm just being I'm being difficult. I tricked you. I bamboozled you. Even if we can't see exactly where the city is, at least we'll be able to check for some smaller settlements nearby. Oh yeah, you do start off pretty far from the city, huh? Wait a second. Ah, there's the one up ahead. One a rot one e one a rata. I don't know why I turned Australian while saying that name. Uh, one irata. Thank you so much for your subscription. Really appreciate it. It's a little low, like the game is. Let me crank it up then. Now we can just ask for directions rather than wander around like lost adventurers. Hey there! 
We're not from around here and seem to have gotten a little lost. We'd like to ask for some directions. Uh, Sino's Grippers, thank you so much for subscribing. I'm guessing you're one of Alejandro's fans. Um, hey Ben, I'm a huge fan of yours. I haven't been a fan long, but I already love you and your vibe. Oh, thank you. I was wondering, how does someone get into VA work? Um, go to www. Let me just type it down in chat, and I'll spam it. Uh, voiceactingclub.com. Uh, go to that site and uh, join the Discord there and read the FAQ in that first channel. Um, that is one of the best resources for new and upcoming uh, uh, actors. I'm one of the admins there, and I have given so much free advice in that server because I have nothing better to do with my time. So... Go there. It's a fantastic resource. It should get you started uh, the right way. And you're welcome, guys. I really appreciate it. I, I'm always happy to have more actors joining uh, the the uh, joining the fray. And uh, it's better to have people instead of um, AIs. <laughs> Will I be doing more Among Us streams with the other VAs? I don't think I'm going to be doing it this month, but next month probably. Uh, how how would you feel if Kaveh's mom gets NPC treatment in Fontaine? Um, probably indifferent. Disaster Lesbian, thank you so much for the five gifted subs. Really appreciate it. Yeah, AI derogatory. Jeez. Uh, the Uno stream will happen, uh, soon, trademarked. Huh? Huh? It's like that dog wearing pajamas going, huh? I should have that as, like, a, a redeem. What's going on here? There's no way she could have missed that. Oh, wait. Could she be ignoring us? How dare she? Maybe there's a reason she ignored us? Where we could find other people to ask. Let's keep our distance and follow her. When we get the chance, we'll just ask someone else for directions. Okay. Yeah. Ooh. Uh, there are sites explicitly for finding voice work. Um, the site that I linked is a good resource. There's a bunch of casting calls that get posted there. Um, but also castingcall.club is another good place. Um, I'll, I can spam that too, but I think the game's trying to make me do the tutorial for the Spider-Man thing. What age can you start voice acting from? Uh, whenever the heck you want. If you're under 18, seek parental approval when, uh, payment happens. Oh, it's down here. Okay. Follow the unresponsive person discreetly. I said as I spider man up a fucking cliff. Let's go take a closer look. Hyman thought this cave would lead to a village or something, but uh it looks like that's not the case. Okay. Look, she's sitting over there. Wait. She couldn't possibly be living here, could she? Ben, did you ever, ever, you ever go through a phase where you didn't like your voice or where you were insecure in your voice? How do you deal with that? Um, I think I like to tell people that the, um, the sign that you're becoming a better actor is if you stop hating your voice and start hating your choices, like your acting choices. Um, nobody is, nobody starts used to their voice. Like, literally everybody on the planet, when you first hear your voice played back to you, like, everybody hates it. 
that's just human nature because you're 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 basically listening to your own voice using the bones inside your your like face. It's all vibrations that your brain is interpreting. Um, like hearing your voice with like a speaker is the first time your like eardrums are hearing your voice. Um, so you it's literally just you get used to it. Like you you get used to the sound of what you sound like. Um, and dude, yeah, I get it. I get being embarrassed in front of other people. Um, but like, literally practice makes perfect and you will, you will come to do the thing. You will come to, to appreciate your power. Uh, because the thing is, your voice might sound weird, but your voice is the only one that exists the way it does. Everybody has their own secret weapon, and that's their own voice. So, like, it's kind of like having your own sword, and you learn how to wield it better than anybody else. Nobody else can have your sword except for you, and you have your own fighting style with the sword. I just like swords. Can you guess why I was chosen to play Saber in Fate Strange Fake? Because I like swords. They're really cool. Uh, what should we do now? Can we try asking her for directions? Solar D! Or Solar Dia, thank you so much for gifting five subs. Really appreciate it. Uh, what if we... What if we didn't go over there, Paimon? Hmm. It looks like she's meditating or something. If we bother her now, she probably wouldn't let us off very lightly. Oh! Mmm! What a lovely smell! It's coming from that sensor over there! This is definitely not your typical place to call home, but at least it smells nice! Mm. Paimon, it's a Maybe dank cave. Be too bad after all. Pamiom, thank you so much for your sub. I really appreciate it. Also, please watch uh, Fate Strange Fake, uh, uh, the special that's on uh, Crunchyroll right now. <clears throat> it's really cool. It's really cool. I, I watched it like fucking ten times now. It's so rad. Hamburger. Oh, you, I got a couple of them? Hamburger. Hamburger. Let me let me read more stuff. Yeah, I really appreciate all the kind words, guys. It's it's good. Hamburger. Oh, I'm getting an echo. can see it. The past. The smell, it's... Something's not right. It's... DiGiorno. Is the smell making you feel sick? Strange. Paimon doesn't feel anything. Hamburger. Uh... Zucker Kexeline. <laughs> Thank you so much for gifting five subs. Got to get out of here. No, am I gonna? Am I? Am, is this it? I think I'm gonna pass out. Homie really is have. Oh, he hit the blunt too hard. What's happening, traveler? This is no time for a nap. Oh, come on. Paimon, this is. This isn't weed. I hit the zaza too hard. I hit the sticky bricky skunk skunk. <laughs> Fuck 12! What the fuck? We're a long way from Texas.
Guys, I don't think that was weed. Holy sh- it's the L tree! It's Elden Ring! I can't believe Elden Ring ripped off Genshin. Oh! Elden Ring! The loathsome dung eater! Okay. The world? Zawadudol? Huh? When did Are you sure it's not serious? The traveler has been out for a long Did you hear that split second of Kabe going, huh? When did <laughs> I legit like the jump scared me? <laughs> Good <God. laughs> is extremely knowledgeable. If he says that he's going to be alright, then there's absolutely nothing to worry about. Oh, this is when you first meet Kale and uh, Tainari. Oh, are you awake now? You're finally awake. You were caught, cry caught trying to cross the border. Oh, thank goodness! Traveler, you're finally awake! <laughs> oh, thank goodness! I love the way that Paimon said that line. Where am I? Well, we're at... Uh... Good question. Where are we? Hyman was in such a panic when you passed out that she even forgot to ask what place this is. This is Gandarvaville. It was originally built by scholars from Sumeru as a place to rest in the rainforest. Now it's mainly used by the forest rangers as a base of operations. My name is Kale. I'm a trainee forest ranger. My master and I found you passed out during our patrol, so we brought you here. God, Tina does a really good job with this character. Oh. No things are necessary. I didn't do anything, really. By the way, how are you feeling now? Any discomfort? This taste in my mouth, it's so bitter. Oh. <laughs> I still <laughs> got some of that devil's lettuce in me. He gave you some while you were unconscious. Uh, before I forget, Master mentioned you should take more medicine once you wake up. Dude, weed! Ooh, ooh. Weed. Uh, whoops. Oh, look what you've done. Oh, fuck. I can't believe you've done this. Uh, Kale, what's the matter? Were you trying to retrieve the medicine? As I've already told you, you must be careful with these. I'll get it for you once I am finished here. Uh, sorry, Master. I'm... I'm used to Zack being, like, higher energy, I think. So having him speak so calmly is very, very... It caught me off guard. Now, the guide to Avidia Forest's edible fungi is clearly posted on our bulletin board, but if Farbode forgets which mushrooms to avoid one more time, I'll have no choice but to leave the guide somewhere a little more visible. Like, right smack on his forehead so others can remind him to be careful. I um I kept saying that uh, Zach's performance as Tainari was uh, kind of like the nerd emoji, D like that gif of the nerd emoji. But like I really like what he's doing here. Right? This is the second time he's come down with food poisoning this month. I'll be sure to give him a good talking to. Yes, please do. If on the off chance Farbode simply enjoys having little imaginary fairies dance before his eyes, then we'll just let him be. But the next time he requires any of our medicine, be sure to charge him accordingly. So, how are you doing? Feeling better? No. Oh, this is my master, Forest Watcher Tainari. He is chief officer over all the rangers here Good in Canaveral. 
Thank you so much for cheering 10 bits, Code Purple. And Angel's Crown for the 6 bits. And uh, other people for uh, miscellaneous other bits. I already informed Paimon about the reason you fell unconscious earlier. But now that you're awake, let me explain it for you as well. Oh, thank you f for the 100 bits, Angel's Crown. I'm sorry I didn't see that before. There's a lot that's happening <laughs> constantly, so I'm sorry. It is common practice for Sumeru scholars of certain darshans to dedicate themselves to training and meditation in isolated areas, uh, particularly the nearby forests. While meditating, they use a certain incense known as spirit borneo to help calm their minds as they enter a state of deep rumination. That's the weed? Am I planning on finishing the Archon Quest this stream? Um, given that the Archon Quest is like... <laughs> Five or six hours or something? Probably not. Yoshiko, thank you so much for for subscribing. Welcome back. Yeah, I I don't think I don't think that's happening. But I do want to like you know I I will stream this again. I do want to finish the the quest on stream. In hopes of asking directions, you two followed a scholar named Hapasia into her cave. Oh, that's Hapasia? Okay. Inside was the spirit Borneo I just mentioned. I've I saw that name get thrown around sometimes, so I'm just like, oh, okay, that's who that is. That incense typically has no effect on most people, but for a very select few, it can have profound effects on one's cognition, as you experienced firsthand. How long? Does that make sense? How long am I gonna stream for? Uh, probably like an hour, another hour or so, maybe one to two more hours. I do have things to do afterwards, um, so I can't go for too long. I've got a D&D uh, game this evening, um, but I'm probably going to stream again during the week. Like, I'll maybe do something on Thursday, maybe? What class am I playing in D&D? Right now, I'm a paladin. Um, but I, I, I want to play a rogue really badly. You're going to Starbucks? Can you get me a, uh, Strawberry Asai, uh, Refresher, or whatever those are called? I really like those. What well, Paladin Oath? Oath of the Crown. Um, I'm gonna keep going before this turns into a Q&A stream. Did you feel anything after passing out? Say, any out-of-body experiences? Or did you see anything while unconscious? I... I saw the Erd Tree. I saw... The Loathsome Dung Eater! Gideon Ofnir! The All-Knowing! Kale, let the others know to stop bringing their patrol logs here for now. Because these two will be staying here for the next few days. They can have my room and I'll bunk with them oh. later. Now get a move on and be sure to do as I've said. He, oh, so we, he, okay. So he's just giving us, okay, that's cool. Yes, Tanari's yes, cool. Tanari. Thank you so much for cheering another 10 biddies, Angel's Crown. Really appreciate it. Blake with A! Oh my god, thank you so much for gifting 20 subs! Home dog, I appreciate the support, but you don't have to go this hard, man. <laughs> I really appreciate it, though, but... Blue Crab, thank you so much for subscribing. Yeah, thank you so much for your generosity. It means so much. Please, use your money on something cooler, like commission an artist for Kave art. Paimon asking the real question here. Sure, let me fill you in. I originally planned to a birthday you present for coffee, but <laughs> however, thank you. It appears now that you should stay a while longer in Gandarvaville for further observation while you recuperate. Further stay hydrated. I've been sipping on some Thai tea this whole time. Good God. No 
no need to be hasty. Some what? As Some Thai tea. To judge between right and wrong, Does I it have boba? Not this time. I, I ordered it without boba. Once I explain everything to you. Based on what you saw after smelling the incense <laughs> and losing consciousness, we can conclude that you experienced a powerful hallucination, which suggests your mental state is hey, not in the best of shape. Hey, what's up, man? If you're skeptical, have a whiff of this. Uh, uh. Oh, are you okay? Uh, I'm getting an echo. You're experiencing a similar sensation as when you passed out, aren't you? So even though your condition is stable as of now, if I were to haphazardly... 1,000 bits? Oh, uh, from Ministina. Thank you so much for cheering 1,000 bits. Don't just say cave art. <laughs> That's not what I meant. The rainforest is home to many fierce animals and hazardous areas. If something were to happen to you again... I'm afraid you might not be so lucky. Traveler, you gotta hit this good good. For now, I suggest you continue taking your medicine each day and avoid wandering off on your own. At least until you stop having adverse reactions to this kind of smell. Hmm. Good. Now, continue resting while I fire up another bowl of medicine for you. Sapphic X, thank you so much for 20 bits. Catboy Deluke, thank you for one bit. Kuska? Um, uh, Mini, uh, Mini thank you so much for another 50 bits. Steve Art better what? Oh, um, I guess. Paimon knows we're set on meeting Lesser Lord Kusanali as soon as possible, but best off, thank you so much for 100 bits. Look too good. It'd probably be best to let you recover first. Kuska? Angel's Crown, thank you for the five bits. Am I gonna do co op with chat? Probably. Um, there will come a time where I need to grind, and I feel like it'd be funner to have chat with me. Kuska? Have I played Little Nightmares? No. I'd like to, though. Have I ever commissioned anyone to make me a Kaveh Prince? Bro, I've... I've tweeted it out. <laughs> Just go through my media tab on my... Twitter and you'll see it. If you could choose a party game to play with the Sumeru Squad or Genshin VAs in general, what game would you pick? Ooh, that's a good question. Zerker! Thank you so much for subbing, dude. Welcome back. Kuska? Angel's Crown with 100 more bits. Zerker, do you, do you want a mod for me while you're here? Just out of curiosity. Because I, I know I know you do it for for Jonah. Excuse me, Alpha. Appreciate it. Will I ever do a Final Fantasy fourteen stream? <sighs> I'm kind of. I would like to, but at the same time, I would not like to because I don't want to, like, dox my FF14 self. If that makes any sense. Uh, hey. Are you even listening to Paimon? Thank you so much for the cheers, you guys. You really appreciate it. Oh, right, the question. Um, for what game I want to play with everybody. Uh... Well, thank you so much for tipping $5. Live from Jupiter. Really appreciate it. Unless it says, happy birthday, best boy Kave. Thank you. Starting FF14 fresh specifically for the stream? Maybe. That's a lot of content to play through, though. Hey, what's up? 
Hey, what's up, man? How's it going? Um, yeah, that's a lot to do. Um, I don't know if I want to go through all all of A Realm Reborn again. Uh, Heaven's Word would be fun to replay. Would I play Mario Kart with the, Su the Sumeru streamers? Absolutely. I was going to join them, uh, the last time, um... Please go that they did that, but I was, uh, that was date night for me, so I couldn't, um, I couldn't join, unfortunately. But I'm in the group chat that they use to organize stuff, so, uh, like, m next time will be the thing. Uh, but yeah, I, it'd be fun to play, like, duck game with everybody. Duck game is a fun game. I wanna I wanna kill everybody with with in duck game. Who's my main in Mario Kart? Fucking Wario. You mean the vision of tree roots and red skies you saw? But if those were hallucinations, <laughs> Somebody's first message in chat is you get bitches? <laughs> Bro. <laughs> Someone like <laughs> breaking breaking their like lurking streak to be like, yo, hold up. <laughs> oh god, it's funny. Risu Pompon, -pom, thank you so much for the subscribing. Really appreciate it. <laughs> thank you, chat member, for for <laughs> being incredulous. It's like, it's like some, it's like, it's like a, a forum, and this, this dude that's just been sitting there watching the whole time just stands up and yells that. Oh, God, that's funny. Koyamu, thank you for the two bits of cheers. Code Purple, thank you for cheering 500 bits. I didn't answer the question. I've, I feel like I've already said too much. Uh, any theories about character motivations and their relationships to each other? I have no strong opinion one way or the other. Please go. Thank you so much for cheering 210 bits, Clan Run. I really appreciate it. Please go. Thank you for the two bits. Thank you so much for cheering three bits, Kathy Sai Sai. Farming Kaveh's flowers is a pain. Um, and yeah, like in terms of FF14, I'm almost fully caught up. I haven't done the latest story quests, uh, like the latest patch story quests. Um, I really need to just jump back in, but like I've been, I've been uh, watching. Um, Watching somebody go through, I've been helping somebody go through uh, Heaven's Word, and it's been like fun. But uh, you know, I I don't want to like stream that entire story again. Uh. Good idea. Kali's pretty friendly. We can ask her tomorrow about what she knows regarding the Dendro Archon and customs in Sumeru. You get a night of rest. Find Kale. All right. Next, let's see your right hand. Hmm. Stream Eureka? That'd be fun. Hamburger. Chris Cut. Thank you so much for the cheers, guys. Really appreciate it. 
Uh, but please remember that you still need to be careful, understand? <sighs> yes, I will. By the way, Master, I still haven't received the patrol route for today. En español, hamburguesa. Look, Kale. Today's patrol will be a long one, so you won't be coming along this time. Besides, there's a chance we may encounter... Well, you understand. Encounter what? But I have a vision too! You saved me. Am I useless to everyone now? No, I'm a warrior, Main. Um, the, the three jobs that I have at level 90 are... Uh, actually, no, I only have two. Uh, warrior and monk. Don't talk like that, Kale. This is not something you need to be worrying about right now. I'm trying to get Sage up there to level 92. And, uh, maybe Astro. Ah, there you are. Uh, feeling any better? Yeah, since we'll be staying here for now, we thought we might as well try lending a hand around here. Am I gonna record the diagnosis song? Nope. Uh, there is legal stuff in the way. <laughs> Seems you're not the type to sit back and take it easy for a while, huh? Hmm. In that case, perhaps Kale could take you two for a patrol south of Gondar. Opinion on the Metal Gear series? Gone too soon. And yes, this will be uploaded to the Twitch as a highlight after the stream is done. And if you're feeling up to it, you can be responsible for cleaning the Statue of the Seven. Tenari, we're ready to head out. Got it. I'll be right there. All right. We'll be heading into the forest now. Got I'll it. Leave any further details to Kale. Yes, you can count on me. So, Kale, what exactly are we going to be doing today? Tanari mentioned cleaning the statue just now, but uh that doesn't really sound like the job for a ranger. Well, a forest ranger's responsibilities can be pretty diverse. They handle a variety of tasks, like checking the condition of outlying roads, maintaining forest facilities, ensuring fire prevention standards are met, and providing assistance to travelers and locals. They're just, they're just forest gophers. Do you have a favorite ice cream flavor? Pistachio. As for Master, well, he has to and salted caramel. areas of the rainforest. Today we can perform routine checks on the pathway lamps as we make our way to the Statue of the Seven. Paimon, traveler, this way! You can leave the task of checking the lamps to me. In the meantime, you two can keep an eye out for anything unusual. Unusual, you say? Hmm. Chris Scott? Thank you so much for cheering another 10, Angel's Crown. Really appreciate it. Only cheering for the German? I don't know what that means. Nothing wrong with these two lamps. Let's move to the next ones. Oh, this lamp seems to be getting a little wobbly. Let me make a note of it. What about mint talking shit? I actually don't like, um... I don't, um... It literally says Gruß... Gruß Gott in German. I don't... I don't see it that way. What? Hmm. Hmm. No problems with this lamp. Good. Maybe it's, like, dependent on your region? Uh, like, unless you're talking about the audio clip that plays for, for, for biddies. Um, that's literally just the sound from Earthbound when you finish, like, naming a character. I think it just says Odeska. The statue of the Seven is up on top of that large rock formation. You must have seen it when you came down this road before. It's pretty high up there, isn't it? Don't worry. If you're afraid you can't make it up there, I'm sure Master wouldn't mind if you don't clean the statue. I'm a terrific climber! Oh? I guess I'll leave it up to you then. There's not much footing once you reach the statue, so be careful up there. Can- wait, can- 
Is the Traveler the only person that can Spider-Man? This is getting ridiculous. Now there are two of them. Oh, is that the name of the former Dendro Archon? Uh huh. Greater Lord Ruka Devata was Sumeru's first Dendro Archon. She created the rainforest as well as the wall of Samio around the desert. Her work to the people oh, of Sumeru is not advance. only a symbol of wisdom, but also of power and kindness. Unfortunately, she disappeared in a great calamity that occurred a few hundred years ago. I mean, like, the beginning of it is getting cut off, but it, it is just deska, which is, like, Japanese. Don't worry about it. Play Earthbound, by the way. Earthbound is a fantastic game. Kiska? Uh, thank you. Either way, for the Cheers, Angel's Crown, and Catboy Deluke. If Kave were to paint his nails, what do you think the color would be? Probably red. Will there be more strange uh, fake? Absolutely. They already announced that there's going to be a full series, so look forward to it. Because I know I am. According to what Masters told me, the sages later found the newly born Dendro Archon and whisked her back to Sumeru. To celebrate the reinstatement of their lost deity, the sages dubbed her Lesser Lord Kusanali and let her reside in the sanctuary of Sarasana. How's the game called Earth what? Earthbound. Earth, like, bound for Earth. It's a it's a, a little RPG that's available in... Is it on Switch Online? Is it? I don't remember. It's not on Steam. It's a Nintendo game. Uh-huh. Then what happened? Well, and then... Uh... It's a Super Nintendo game, so it's pretty dang old. I'm not too sure what happened, to be honest. Not too sure, but aren't you from Sumeru? If you like Undertale, then you will probably like Earthbound. Yeah, I'm from Sumeru. Uh, Starbound is something completely different. Maybe it's difficult to discuss this topic with strangers. Ooh. If that's the case, then don't worry, we understand. No, no, it's not that. I'm not trying to hide something from you. Besides, I don't consider you two strangers. Gunbound is also a completely different game. <laughs> <laughs> because you two know Amber, right? Wait, Amber? You mean... Amber, Outrider of the Knights of Favonius? Yes, that's her. Hamburger. I've been Mondstadt for a while, and she helped me a lot during that time. You could even say that she helped me become a new person. There's no one like Amber. She lives life to the fullest while always adhering to her strong sense of justice. She's ready to answer the call for action at any moment, but is also very understanding of others. She's like the spark that lights the fire in everyone's heart around her. If you ask me, she's a prime example of a true outrider. She's the first person anyone coming to Mondstadt will meet. You can't help but be enthralled by her charm and enthusiasm, causing you to fall in love with the lands of Mondstadt and... Ah, uh, <laughs> sorry. Huh? Uh, Harmon thought the work of Outriders was a little different from what you just described, but to one thing's for sure, you really like Amber. You <laughs> Paimon, why did you why did you say it's so weird like you really like Amber? Uh <laughs> sorry. I was rambling on just now. It must have sounded kinda weird. <laughs> it's alright, Kale. Knowing that you're a friend of Amber somehow makes Paimon suddenly feel a lot closer to you. So how do you know that we've met Amber? You have her scent on you. Turn to Sumeru, Amber and I have stayed in touch by writing each other letters. Oh, okay. Letter, 
She mentioned that Mondstadt was attacked by a fearsome dragon, but the city was saved by a mysterious blonde traveler Gamers. and her floating companion. Gamers! I knew you two were the ones she mentioned in the letter the moment I saw you. But, uh, considering everything you've been through that day, I thought it'd be inappropriate to bring it up. Ah, so that's how you knew. Yep, so please know that you two have my complete trust. Really. Wow, that easy, huh? I wish I could tell you more about the Dendro Archon, but I have been away from Samaru for some time, and I haven't read any books. Sorry. That's all right. You've already helped us a lot. We had never even heard of Greater Lord Ruka Devata or the Sanctuary of Surathana until you mentioned them. Oh, I'm happy that was helpful. There is one thing I want to ask, though. Why do you two want to know about the Dendro Archon? Uh, thank you so much for stopping by, Solar, Solar D, Solar Dia. Really appreciate it. Thank you so much for your, all your gift subs. It's good stuff. Oh yeah, Marag definitely has a charging area. He's he's Marag can uh, can has like a like a wireless charging station. I want to say. Paimon's right. We're free ends. Have my thanks. While you two are up there cleaning, I'll go ahead and inspect the forest canopy. Let's meet back here shortly. Yeah, Marak might, might also be solar pa uh, uh, powered, actually. That would make more sense. Does Marak have Roomba abilities? <laughs> Probably. No, Marak's, Marak's a very finely tuned machine for very precise work. It's not going to be cleaning the Doritos from the ground. Huh. Now that Paimon looks at it, Would you like to name my rabbit? Uh, Pascal. Hamburger. Hmm. Do you think she's supposed to be Greater Lord Ruka Devata? Or Lesser Lord Kusanali? Hmm. 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 K Ruka Ru uh Ruk Ruka Devada. The statue does look kinda old. Hmm. Well anyway, we'll have to figure that out later. Let's get started on cleaning the statue. Paimon will fly up and take care of the top and you clean everything below. Meticulously clean the statue. It looks the same. We've done nothing. FXA, thank you so much for subbing. Really appreciate it. Kale, we're back. I like how she was just sitting on the slog. Welcome back. You must be tired after all that climbing. Let's take a little break. I brought some fruit and water for us. Yay! Food! What kind of goodies did you bring? What kind of goodies? What kind of goodies? Paimon, please. Slow your roll, mate. Ease up, Turbo. Hey, don't be a party pooper. It's not like Kale is a stranger or anything. Besides, the best way to compliment a chef is to show passion for their food. Xiangling taught Paimon that. I prepared a nice portable dish that forest rangers like to eat called Pita Pockets. I hope you'll like them. Pita Pockets? Pita? Turn up the game audio? Okay, just give me a sec. Uh, wh whoops! Oh. Ah, no! You dropped it on the ground! Oh. Oh, no. Kole, why did you do that? Why did you drop the pita on the floor? Not to worry. I wrapped a few layers of oiled paper around each pita. They should be fine. Oh, okay. Oh, I nearly had a heart attack there. <laughs> Stop! <laughs> you almost dropped my croissant. Those pitas are amazing. They're quite the cook, Kale. Thank goodness you wrapped them in paper. 
Hana wouldn't have been able to sleep at night knowing something so tasty had been My croissant. <laughs> you really know how to compliment the chef, Paimon. Since you liked it so much, I'll be sure to give you a copy of the recipe sometime. I'll even include all my personal cooking pointers, so you'll be making your own pita pockets in no time. Yay! Thanks, Kale! It's hard to believe someone as diligent as you could have clumsy moments, too. We're all a little bit clumsy. We're all a little bit cringe. We shouldn't shy away from the parts that make us cringe. Oh. <laughs> uh, I guess it happens from time to time. So, uh, Kale, don't you think that Tainari's a little too strict with you? He won't let you touch anything without his permission. Paimon knocks stuff over all the time flying around the Traveler, but he's never said anything. Everyone Good has clumsy moments. Angel's Crown, thank you for the one biddy. Paimon, I, this is why I can't take you to that nuclear research facility. No, no, you've got the wrong idea about Master. Uh, <laughs> sure, he may seem a bit harsh at first, but with some time, you'll see that he's actually very kind-hearted. Yeah, the nuclear research facility in Tevet. Have you guys not, have you, have you not seen it? Blake with A, thank you so much for five subs. Really appreciate it. I've heard the veteran rangers say that Tatarasuna, yeah, exactly. <laughs> a serious race that is known for their cutting wit and reclusive nature. But Master's actually very kind at heart. Oh, by the way, you've heard of the Academia, right? Well, there's a group called uh um um uh, uh um something. <laughs> <laughs> that was a fun read. Well, anyway, because Master does a lot of research on plants. Sages from the Academia have written him many times, inviting him to take up an official position there. But Master declines their offers every time, saying, Sumeru City is too noisy. It'd be bad for my ears. Wait, hold up. So, I'm already I'm already at a point in the relationship with Tainari where I can be like, <laughs> classic Tainari. Like... It's either <laughs> classic Tainari or like I want to pet his ears. Of course I'm going to pick I want to pet his ears. <laughs> I know, right? I've always wanted to pet them too. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> Fucking exposed. Anyway, Master could have easily left the rainforest to take up a position at the academia, but he chose to stay here instead as a forest watcher. Helping the locals every day and passing on his knowledge to trainees. In fact, Master's the one who taught me how to make pita pockets. Really? Hana would have never guessed that. Oh, speaking of Tainari, he was the one who took care of you after finding you passed out yesterday. He even carried you all the way here. Paimon's still kind of upset, though. He kept scolding Paimon the entire way here. What did you do? What did you do? I've been overreacting a little, but uh, it's mostly because Paimon wouldn't stop yelling, Why, oh why, is he going to die? It probably started <laughs> to get under Master's skin after a while. That sounds like, that sounds like a song. Hey! Don't laugh! Paimon was genuinely concerned about you! Ha 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 ha! Paimon, you are funny! <laughs> we are all having fun. Ugh, that's it. Paimon won't forget this. It's time for some Paimonial wrath. Pa pa Paimon, pa huh? Huh? Paimonial? No! Don't touch me! What? What is it? <laughs> that was like. That was like, oh, wait, no, it's okay. I was like, that was legitimate fear. And I'm like, oh, that's, that's, that's the point. It's not, it's not goofing. Brad Online, thank you so much for rating for, Jesus Christ, 746 followers? Oh my God. Hello, everybody. <laughs> that's a lot of you. Um... Let me, uh, let me go ahead and, um, let me put slow mode on real quick. 
Oh, it's already on. Uh, let me let me make slow mode. Uh, no, ten seconds is fine actually. Welcome Raiders. Hi, hello everybody. Um, I'm Ben Balmaceda. I'm Kaveh's uh, voice actor. I uh, what was uh, what was what was Bren playing earlier? Oh, Genshin. Thank you so much for for stopping by, for dropping off all these people. Welcome, welcome. I'm Kaveh's voice actor. I'm playing through uh, Sumeru's Archon Quest to, uh, to to experience the story that people have been saying is really good. And uh, the PNG is great, thank you. <laughs> but yeah, welcome, guys. Uh, feel free to take a seat, sit down anywhere you like. Um, there's snacks in the fridge. Uh, and... Yeah, thank you for for slow mode zerker. Um, yeah, we're we're just uh, continuing. We were having a great time, and then uh, Paimon decided to start a fight. I guess Vine Boomer. I actually do want to add a. Oh my God, anonymous! Whoever you are, thank you for gifting a sub to Bran. Really appreciate it. Um, yeah, Paimon decided to. Fight, Kale. So I'm gonna respond with, huh? Oh, sorry, Kale. Paimon didn't mean to scare you. Uh, no, I, I just. Uh, uh, Kale, are you okay? What's the matter? No, uh, I'm. <laughs> I'm fine. I'm sorry. I must have startled you both reacting like that. Oh, well, it's getting late now. Uh, let's hurry back to Gundarverville. I think Master and the others should be back by now, too. Code Purple, thank you so much for subbing. Really appreciate it. Got Paimon once again ruining what? everything. What was up with Kai just now? And why is she in such a hurry all of a sudden? Look, she's practically running back. Paimon can't even see her now. <laughs> Yeah, like all of um, all of Tina's lines so far have been really they did a great job. Everyone's so talented in this game. Fuck. You've returned. Moon Moss, thank you so much for subscribing. Really appreciate it. Also, for all the raiders, I swear a lot. So please, have you seen Kale by any chance? If you are a child and you don't like swearing, I'm. I'm sorry. Uh, you should maybe go uh, uh, play other video games and uh, go outside. Oh, Kale? Yes, I saw her go into her room just a moment ago. Oh, okay. Back to Club <laughs> Penguin. Isn't it dead? To her tomorrow, then. Go play with your iPad. <laughs> Go play with your iPad. Uh, anyway, let's wait until 11 a.m. Reveneration, thank you so much for subscribing. Really appreciate it. Am I going to go to cons? Yes, I'm going to be going to uh, Windbloom Festival happening in August. Uh, at the end of August, and then there's another con that will be announcing me uh, this upcoming week. So look out for, look, watch my social medias for that one. It's gonna happen very soon. Paimon was thinking all night about what happened with Pale, and still can't figure out what the problem might be. Chronic illness? Maybe Am I going to Gamescom? Go. Oh, I what would love to if. Her? I got like an invite <laughs> over there. Um, that'd be great. But again, if you guys want me to be at a con, it's you too. tell the con I that just they should invite me, because that's how that's how VAs um, get invited to stuff. We 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 need to we we all operate on vampire rules. When I come to the UK, I would I would go anywhere. For you guys, I'd go anywhere. But, you know, UK would be great, because I was born there. 
And thanks for stopping by, uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! 5D's Duelist. Really appreciate it. Have ever been to Europe? I grew up in most of Europe. I spent a large, large part of my time in a lot of different uh, European countries. I actually have lived in Chile for a total of like four years, which is why I think I'm like a fake Chilean. I've been tricking everybody, I'm sorry. I do say Tuesday. And yes, I have been to Spain. I think the only European countries I haven't been to have been Portugal. Um, Portugal. Finland. And Luxembourg. And Liechtenstein. No, I, I have been in Liechtenstein. Switzerland, yep. Norway, yep. Uh, Greece, yep. Denmark, Sweden, uh, oh, Hungary is another one, yeah, that's right. Uh, and most of Eastern Europe I haven't been to. I haven't been to, uh, Bulgaria, I haven't been to Ukraine or the Baltics. Uh, I have been to Turkey and France, yes. Czech Republic? I think I have. I think I have. I think, but I must have been really young when that happened. Uh, Netherlands, yep. I haven't been to Ireland, actually. I really want to. I, I really, and Scotland, too. I've only really been in England. Uh, out of all the countries in the UK. Poland, I, um, I haven't been, but my brother lived there for a, a quite some time. I really, really want to go. I, there was a, a timeline where I went to to Ireland uh, instead of America because uh, my parents wanted me to go there, but university is really expensive for out-of-towners. <laughs> what languages do I speak? Just English and Spanish. I moved to a lot of these countries, yes, uh, but I did travel to a lot more of them. I think I, I lived, lived in Austria, Norway, Spain, uh, and I think that's it. Everything else I've been, it has been visits or, or, uh, or, uh, just like trips through. Oh, and Switzerland too. In Spain, Madrid. Madrid. Yeah, that's where I did learn German in Austria, but, like, I stopped speaking it for so long that I've just kind of forgotten. But a lot of it is very familiar to me. Sí, me gustó España. Uh, Turkey? I didn't get to experience much of Turkey, because I, I really just spent a week in a resort there. So I don't think I got the full experience of it, but it was, everybody there was super nice. Do I have cer certain countries that I really liked? A lot of them. <laughs> um, but definitely Germany and, uh, I mean, Austria and Norway have a lot of really good memories for me. Uh, I've, I used to go to a place called Bad Hofgestein over in Austria, and, like, I have so many fond memories of that place. And, um, God, uh, fucking Omdoodler. I've been chasing the high of Omdoodler this whole, my whole life. Wie gut ist dein Deutsch? Nicht gut. I do want to go to Finland. I really want to go to Finland. And Singapore. I want to go to uh, Finland, Singapore, Japan, uh, Thailand. I want to go to New Zealand. I want to go to Ireland. I want to go to Scotland. Uh, I want to go to... Uh, blah, 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 blah. I want to go to Morocco. Um, I want to go to uh, Madagascar. Uh, Philippines would be fun to visit, yeah. Indonesia, too. Uh, I want to go to all these places. 
Korea. Oh, South Korea would be fun. Hawaii? Ooh. Well, Hawaii is still America, but, like, the culture is distinct enough. Poland? Yeah. I mean, I'd probably go there to, like, hang out with my brother if he still lives there. I don't know where he is. I think he's in Germany now. He might be in Berlin. Italy? I've only managed to... Oh, no. Actually, I might be going to Italy this year. I might be going to Tuscany. Uh... Hachioid. Thank you so much for subscribing. Everyone in my family travels pretty much. Well, my mom, not so much. Uh, but my dad uh, travels a lot, and my brother does too. Um, we're all kind of spread all, all over the world. Um, so meeting up with family is always really tough. But um, that's why I like it when Kaveh is like, birthdays are important days to think about your family. I'm like, yeah, they are. <laughs> Holy Shento, thank you so much for the Prime sub. I was actually going to go to my brother's wedding uh, last month, but uh, I couldn't attend because uh, America's visa system is kind of keeping me stuck in America. So that wasn't ideal, but sometimes shit happens. Yeah, for those of you that don't know, America's immigration system is designed to keep people out. Uh, and there's a reason why so many people opt to uh, immigrate illegally, because legally doing it is so incredibly difficult that, like, it's, it's, it's not worth any of the pain. It's so bad. Like, part of the reason why I haven't been able to stream all that much these past few months, because, like... Most of my time is occupied with visa stuff. It's really annoying. I came to check on Kale's condition. To put it simply, she's not well. I would go back to Austria, but uh, yeah, I do have Chilean citizenship. Um, I would go back to Austria, but I I want to be able to keep doing the voice thing. That's why I'm here. You mean she's sick? How could she be? Oh, wait a minute. Could it be because of what Paimon did yesterday? Leia, I still use kilometers in my head. That's my first instinct. Um, I Relearning the wacky Wahoo American metric system was uh, not, not fun. <laughs> I still don't know how many inches are in a foot or how many feet are in a mile. I just do not know. Hey, what's up? Hey, how's it going? Um... I also prefer Celsius, but um, once somebody explained to me that Fahrenheit is more or less... I should treat Fahrenheit like a percentage of how hot it is. Like 50 Fahrenheit means it's it's half hot, half cold. 80% Fahrenheit... 80 Fahrenheit means it's 80% hot. Which is... That's reasonably hot. 100 Fahrenheit? Damn, it is 100% hot. It is hot. That's that's how I see Fahrenheit. It's just a percentage. 110 Fahrenheit? Holy shit, we're going off the fucking grid. No, 15% Fahrenheit isn't isn't well like it's 50% isn't hot. It's it's half hot, half cold. There's 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 an equal amount of cold. If that make look, don't, I I'm doing my best. I'm doing my best here to to make this wacky wahoo measurement system make sense to me. It's like the the freezing temperature is like some in, something insane like 14. I don't I don't get it. Why can't it just be 0? Net 32 30, uh, it's such a it's such a random number, thirty two. But like Celsius is like, it's it makes sense. It's it's temperature, but for water, like it's water centric. 
Zero is when water freezes. A hundred is when it boils. Like, it's built for water. But, like, you can... Like, I know how 25 degrees Celsius feels. Like, I can I can picture that very easily. Like, that's like a reasonable, like, fresh day. When you, when you start going up to, like, the high 30s, that's when it starts to get unbearable. And, like, back in Australia... I, I lived in Australia as well for four years. Like... I think it was if uh, if it was 40 degrees Celsius, that's when schools would close because it was just really, really bad. 25 is not fresh. I mean, to me, it is. I, I'm look, I've lived in so many different climates that like I kind I kind of have like a buff towards. Uh, 18. Actually, yeah, you're right. 18 is more or less fresh. 25 is like reasonably warm. What was my first thought when I saw the Kaveh birthday art? It's a beautiful man. I think 20 degrees Celsius is, like, the ideal. I think that, that equates to, like, like, 70 degrees? 75 degrees Fahrenheit, more or less? That's, like, a reasonable, reasonable, uh, thing. No. No need to worry. Something as small as you could never harm her. This sickness is something that Kale has been dealing with for some time. Uh, Astel Ray, I already, uh, Astel Rel, I already read his letter in the, his voice. I'm pretty sure someone clipped it. So if you look through, uh, the clipped videos, I think it's there. Kale Maybe? has been more excited than usual since you two arrived. A little too much so, to be honest. She hasn't remembered to take care of herself. I suppose it's understandable, though. She hasn't been around anyone she considered a friend for some time now. It must have been refreshing for her to have you two here. Yeah, I have seen the lines uh, with his Twitter art. Um, God, I remember when I lived in Norway, we'd have days where it's like minus 20 degrees Celsius or something. Shit got cold in Norway. I lived in Oslo, but like, it was it was still pretty dang cold. But I love that weather so much. I like I love freezing weather when it's like nice and cold and snowy. I love it so much. So Tainari, what's really wrong with Kale? I like to bundle up in like a big coat with a scarf and a little beanie. Yeah, I know I live in tech. I'm not here because of the weather. I'm here because it's cheap as fuck to live here. <clears throat> Let's take this conversation elsewhere. Kale just fell asleep after taking her medicine. She needs some peace and quiet. Some peace and... Okay. Okay. We'll do that. Yeah, like, my ideal Tavan region is pretty much uh, Sneznaya if it turns out to be, like, a winter hellscape. All right. I got to come to Chicago in the winter. I have been in Chicago, uh, not during the winter, during ASIN time. I guess that's not really winter. That's like spring. But yeah, I went to Buffalo during, uh, during, um, Christmas time. And that was really nice. You saw me at Asen? If any of the people that I met right, up with at Asen are here, here um, I'm so sorry I had a smudge of chocolate on my mouth when we took a selfie. It still haunts me to this day. To be honest, I hadn't realized you were that honorary knight from Mondstadt until Kale told me just now. I've also heard all about your deeds in Liyue and Inazuma. So just to clarify, what I'm about to tell you about Kale is not because of who you are or your past feats. Instead, I am going to tell you because I noticed it like when I got back to the hotel room and I was like, I need to die immediately. I need to die right now. God strike me down. Well, because Kale asked me to. And honestly speaking, I was against Kale revealing her past to you. <sighs> but she insisted, saying you two treated her with sincerity and as a friend. So, now she wishes to reciprocate the gesture. So, Tainari, what exactly is wrong with Kale? You said 
said this is something she's been dealing with for some time. Just how serious is it? Oh, Lady Lise, it was like several hours, like four to five hours before I realized. Like, how can anyone live after experiencing that? What what other option is... Yeah, nobody told... Well, I was wearing a mask for most of it. Yeah, I'll turn up the, the game a bit more. I'm doing it like little by little until we hit the sweet spot. Am I going to wish on any of the banners? No, I'm, I'm saving until the next banner that uh, Kave shows up on so I can see if I can get his uh, C6. Right. Ever since she was a child, she's been afflicted with a disease called Elazar. Oh, I've heard this term be thrown around a lot, Elazar. Elazar? Yes. It's a disease unique to the lands of Sumeru. It is characterized by dark and hardened scales that form on the body. Does it turn you into a dragon? Does Is this dragon disease? At first, the afflicted may only feel mild numbness on affected areas of the skin. However, as the disease progresses, one may begin feeling fatigued and even experience peripheral paresthesia. Someone said it morbs you out. <laughs> no, it doesn't, chat. Get out of here. In its final stages, the disease strips a person of the ability to control their own body, and they effectively become completely immobile. Favorite characters from Inazuma? Um, I mean, Raiden Shogun is pretty cool. Uh, Ito is also really cool, yeah. That sounds and Kazuha. Terrifying. Wait, hold on. Uh, and Ayaka. So I'm, I'm, I think, I think Ayaka is super cool, but it was because I, I really wanted to pull for her, but um, I was saving for Kave. So maybe next time Ayaka rolls up, I would like to pull for her so I can pretend to be Virgil. Correct. That would be the effects of Elazar, which is precisely why I do not want her carrying or holding anything, lest she ends up hurting herself. With appropriate treatment, the disease can be effectively controlled before it progresses to a more serious stage. However, there is unfortunately still no true cure for Elazar. Nevertheless, Kale's mother still hopes. <laughs> you you redeem stand there. back, I'm going she to morb. Kale over to an organization <laughs> known as the Fatui after one of their members lied and said they had a cure. The Fatui. What? The Fatui? I feel like I say I will make references to more like Morbius naturally enough or the the Baba Boy. Ah. It appears you already are familiar like, with Like, you don't need a redeem if That'll I keep fucking saying it, you know? Anyway, the person who eventually rescued Kale and brought her to me for care said that she had been given to a harbinger known as gamers. the Doctor. Harbinger known as GAMERS! I have no idea how this doctor managed to do it, but her case of Elazar was completely stable for all the years that Kale was with them. However... Kale's days with the Fatui were anything but pleasant. G gamers in parentheses evil. Kale is a resilient shadow gamers and always tries to appear cheerful, but her experience with the Fatui has left deep scars. Even now, she can still feel deathly afraid of someone touching her. Oh, Paimon had no idea Kale's been through so much suffering. Shadow Gamer V Bucks Gang. We love playing Fortnite. <laughs> oh, by the way, Paimon, uh, Kale wanted me to tell you that she's sorry for scaring you yesterday. She also wanted both of you to know that she's sorry for hiding her illness. Here's a question for you, chat Which Harbinger is the biggest gamer? She doesn't need to apologize. None of this is her fault at all. Hmm. Well said. I hope you'll get a chance to tell her that in person the next time you see Holy her. shit, the, the child voting is overwhelming. That is so... <laughs> like, literally so many people said child. <laughs> Thank you for cheering three bits. Really appreciate it. But like, okay, what games does child play? 
Kale once thought that it would be impossible for her to have any real friendship. League. I trust that you two will never let my train experience such <laughs> Fortnite. pain again. Because his whole gimmick is that he wants to become, like, better and better, right? Like, he wants to be the ultimate warrior. So I feel like he would play a bit of everything. I, I don't remember most of uh, Child's lore. Uh, other than he, he the reason he uses a bow is because he's, like, handicapping himself so he can become a weapon master. He'd be the type to play Animal Crossing and, like, min-max it. Like, he'd restart his island until he got, like, um, like, uh, like an optimal layout of rivers and mountains. Don't worry, Tainari. We'll take good care of her. Battle sexual. Yeah. I, that's the vibe that I got. Well, it's not too serious at this point. She overexerted herself the last couple of days, which is what led her to break down this time. As long as she has taken her medicine and gets plenty of rest, she should get better. Though I must admit, Lindsay's condition was much Thank more you so much for raiding with 65 people. Welcome everybody. Hello, hello. Welcome, all raiders. Thank you so much for stopping by. Lindsay's was also playing Genshin Impact. Welcome. Thank you so much. Uh, if you get a shout out for Lindsay's, is that something that you can just do, or do I have to set it up? Do do the shout out. Thing? Okay, cool. All right, thank you. I do have to set it up. Shit. Well, it says join us in following Lindsay, so you heard the prompt. Um, welcome Raiders, uh, I'm Ben Balmaceda, I'm the voice of Kave in this video game. Um, I also voice other characters, but they're not relevant right now, so go, uh, look at my Twitter, I guess. We're here, uh, having a little birthday bash. He's a, he's a little birthday boy. He's just a little man, he's a little birthday man. And we're playing through, uh, the Sumeru quest line. I haven't done it at all. Uh, to celebrate. Celebrate the little birthday boy. But yeah, thank you so much for, for stopping by, y'all. Kave would be the type to play House Flipper? Of course. She was interested in the work of the Forest Rangers the moment she saw us. I could see that she was serious about learning, so I felt compelled to ask her to join us. Kave would play Sims and would spend 90% of his time in either build mode or buy mode. And just Stim decorate the house. Much worse recently. Though a moderate amount of physical exercise is always necessary, I'm afraid the long distance patrols are a little too much for her now. All Haytham told him to cheat for to get like a million like simoleons or whatever. And he uses that every time he plays to, like, like let him... Yeah, he uses Motherload. Only that, so he can have infinite money so he can buy every piece of furniture he wants. And that's just how he plays The Sims. Alright, now that I've told you about Kale's past, I think I'll head into the rainforest to find some ingredients Gamers. needed for her medicine. I'll see you two later. We'd like to do something to help Kali too. All right, but I must warn you too. The rainforest is a dangerous place, especially for someone who's still recovering, like the traveler. You must follow closely and listen to every instruction. Ahitham strikes me as the type to play uh, civilization games. Hey, what's up? Hey, how's it going? No problemo. Let's go then. We'll yeah, I know. For a plant known as the Nilot Pala Lotus, or it's the settlers, or uh, afflicted with Elazar, recover their energy. Stellaris, Age of Mythology, mm, probably not. I would say more 4X games. Yo yeah, Europa Universalis, definitely. And Crusader Kings. He'd, pro he'd probably be into like grand strategy. <laughs> Find this plant? 
Nilot Palolotuses can be found all over the rainforest, but it often grows right here around. Who would play Arnold something like Ace Combat? Uh, Given the name, Amber. It sounds like we should be looking for it in the water. You are correct. The Nilot Palolotus grows in the water. When fully matured, they look. Do like I know my MBTI? Nope, I forgot surface. it. I don't. I don't Quite remember the specific species, one. If you ask me. The large petals are actually the plant's leaves and sepals, which surround a very small flower. You should note that many of the plants found in Sumeru have names that are contrary I'll hate them plays species. Minesweeper, but he does it like that Take sweaty dude below, that, um... The plant is not in all those skull, memes of, like, the dude that, that was, like... The Sumeru. That, that guy. I had to mash on my keyboard to properly, like, get the, get the vibe of it. Kangaruna, thank you so much for subscribing. <laughs> I hate them seems like the type to optimize the fun out of games. Hmm. There should be Nilot Palolotuses growing somewhere in this area. If you could manage to gather four of them, that would be sufficient. We'll rendezvous here once you've gathered the needed amount. He'll be like, I optimized my build, so I only have to press one button and I win. It's like, but I'll hate them. You're not, you're not playing the game anymore. Yeah, I don't need to. I've solved it. He probably would like visual novels, because he likes reading, so... Hey, Tainari, Actual Shibuya33, thank you so much. Thing. For subscribing, really appreciate it. Let me have a look. Hmm, good. Very good. These are all excellent quality. Yeah, I like reading. I'm glad you two came along. Your exploration experience helped save me a lot of time here. It seems we even have enough time to stock up on other things I need. If you guys want good books... Check out the Locked Tomb books. Um, I've started reading uh, Harrow the Ninth, sequel to Gideon the Ninth, and I highly recommend that if you're into cool sci-fi necromancy with lesbians. Hey, Tainari! They're really good books. Dressed like a forest ranger. Ah, yes, that's Amir and the others. But didn't they just set off not too long ago? Hmm, what are they doing back so early? Let's go find out what's going on. Which books? Um, Gideon the Ninth. Like, the ninth person. Uh, uh, like, the number nine. And it's Gideon the way you would spell Gideon. Really good books. Going through the second book of the series right now. Yeah, uh, Tainari, Ju Julian, you spelled you it right. We were just about to head back and find you at Gandarmaville. Kave would be a sweat on cool math games. What's going on? <laughs> we just discovered a withering zone. The withering is back, but the patrol route you were on should have been already cleared just a week ago. It reappeared so quickly. Uh, which, um... Which Genshin character would play Cruelty Squad? Can you tell me the exact location? It's up ahead, deep in the river valley. It's appeared in a spot that blocks nearly the entire narrow part of the valley area. So we decided to come find you as quickly as possible. If you're if you don't know what cruelty squad is, you can google it and probably like see for yourself. And the radius of the contamination? It's 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 um a mechanically incredible video game, but it is has the presentation of Technicolor vomit. Sorry. I couldn't get a clear enough view to tell. No one in our patrol team had a vision, and it appeared to still be spreading. 
so we didn't risk getting any closer. Okay, I understand. You made the right decision. I'll go deal with it right away. In the meantime, please guide these two back to Gundarvaville. Any anime recommendations? Um, Fate Strange Fake Whispers of Dawn, now available on Crunchyroll.com. Watch it now with your pre pre premium subscription. You can also enjoy shows like Hell's Paradise and uh, Jujutsu Kaisen and Chainsaw Man and Hor Horimiya. Subscribe now and unlock a full array of anime for your viewing pleasure. Thank you, God bless. Wait, Kainari, why don't you let us help you? My legs are fine. You two have only just arrived in Sumeru. You're still unfamiliar with it's many <laughs> things in these lands. Guys, I've worked so much for... I've done so much for Crunchyroll, so anytime I have to talk about it, I can feel like my soul leaving my body a bit. There's a unique type of anomaly that occurs in the Sumeru rainforest. It's called the Withering. I love them, but I've I've been doing stuff with this company for like the past three years. Almost nonstop, so... <laughs> The affected areas not only cause nearby vegetation to wither, but it's also lethal to wildlife and even people. If you don't carry a vision, what anime would Kave watch? Approaching such places. Um, keep your hands off Azuken. I think that he would love like watching the uh, the creative process that that show goes over. Blue per I haven't watched Blue Period, but I've I've heard it's really good. Um, and he'd probably also uh, watch your lie in April. Yes, Amir is absolutely right. I wasn't kidding okay, when I said good, the Zerker. rainforest is a dangerous place. As Amir said, <clears throat> only someone with a vision, that is, the power to manipulate elements, will be able to resist the withering's corrosive. Well, I don't need a reminder for, for what a vision does, but thank you. That's right. If any of the forest rangers without a vision come across a withering zone, we first make a record of the location and then have a ranger with Buy full HD, thanks for stopping by. Like Tainari here. Um, yeah, if you guys also want, like, a really good English dub, uh, watch Given. Watch the English dub of Given. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's also on Crunchyroll, but, um, I did the QA for that show, and it legit became one of my favorites. Like, everybody did so well in the dub, and it's so good. Given is so good. Only someone with a vision can venture within a withering zone and find a way to deal with it. How do I QA a TV show? I watch all of it and make sure every line is where it's supposed to be. What's my favorite Ghibli movie? Uh, uh Porco Rosso. Porco Rosso. I can also control the elements. But you don't seem to carry a vision. Don't worry. He may not have a vision, but he's a real pro at using the power of the so, elements. So, it's, it's, it's known in this world that having a vision is the only way you can do uh do elemental stuff so many people readily accept that the traveler can do all the shit without a vision and like they don't seem to question it hmm. seems the rumors about you were true then in that case all right you two may accompany me like it would be like if somebody in our world could suddenly f like f blast fire from their fingers and everyone's like huh I guess the rumors are true. You are different. Come help me look at these lamps to make sure they're functioning correctly. We typically only teach visitors how to identify the withering as they're about to leave Gandarvaville. We'll make an exception today and show you what it looks like up close. 
Like, they're completely glossing over that this guy, this, this traveler is an anomaly. And he completely challenges their entire worldview of how visions and elemental control are supposed to work. Like, yeah, he's famous, but like... Like... Nobody has been like, how can you do this? How are you able to do this? What you're doing is upsetting the natural order of, of the world. But everybody's like, oh cool, that's, that's neat, I guess. Stop. Don't move any further. Look there. In the distance. In the distance. What is it? What is it, Tainari? What do your elf eyes see? Huh? Where? Oh, look. Those plants have withered. That whole area is kind of gloomy. Even the air looks like it's filled with ash. Well, hold up. You saying the weathering is some kind of... It's some kind of withering? Of the... Of the nature? Oh, Paimon doesn't like the look It looks of like it. L.A. <laughs> that is the withering. All right, Traveler. We're gonna have to enter that withering zone. Once inside, we'll need to look for what we call tumors of the withering. If we eliminate those, then the area will be saved. Holy shit, Paimon. We've gotten to Los Angeles, California. Thank you. But I must warn you, don't push yourself. This is your first time handling this sort of thing, after all. Even with elemental powers, once you step inside the withering zone, you may experience extreme discomfort. If at any point it becomes too much, return outside the zone and take a breather. It could become a matter of life and death. I'm sorry, you can't say you'll experience extreme discomfort and then immediately after say it's a matter of life uh, and death. Extreme discomfort to me is uh, having a, a very large and pointy pebble stuck in my shoe. Like, you, you can't say that and then immediately be like, also you'll die. Like, mmm. You ready then? Let's go. I suppose death is pretty uncomfortable. <laughs> the most extreme First, discomfort, you must dying. Locate any branches sustaining the withering zone. Oh, do I have to... Do I need to use a bow for this? Wait, how do you aim again? Alright, it's R. Scanning. Oh, okay, you have to hold charge. Alright, I see. Come at me! Oh. Oh, I see. Okay. And I guess that meter at the bottom is how how much evil I'm accumulating. This is my first time in a weathering zone and I already skipped through the uh the tutorial that tells me how it works. Sight clear. Okay, so when the meter fills up, I'm assuming that's when the extreme discomfort kicks in. And I guess that clears me of um, evil juice, the uh, the light, or le leaves me down to two. I get you. Scanning. Mind the side effects. Okay. I keep pressing that by accident. So I'm guessing I need to get rid of these flowers in order to get rid of the big flower. Great work. Now that all the branches Oh, they they have different attacks. Okay, I see. A, tumor. a boss. A bitter pill to swallow. Taking a turn for the better. Here comes the catch. Rare animations, by the way. Watch and learn. Now, destroy the tumor of the withering. I know. I need to press the button. Okay. We did it! Everything's returning to normal now. Yes, 
Thanks to you two, we were able to quickly restore this area back to normal. Why do you sound so unenthused about this, Tainari? <laughs> You make it sound like we did well, but why does Paimon have the feeling you're worried about something? We did it. We destroyed Los Angeles. It's We're all free obvious, now. Huh? All right. It's like this. Recently, the rate at which withering zones appear has been increasing. Even though we were able to quickly clear that withering zone, it won't be long before another one appears. If that simply meant more work for me, then that wouldn't be an issue. But it's far more severe than that. The withering is leaving lasting effects on the rainforest itself. We've destroyed Los Angeles, but Tampa, Florida is still alive. For instance, even though we cleared out the withering zone, many of the plants that were affected will not recover. <laughs> this presents a crisis for the ecosystem itself. Gave found dead in Miami. <laughs> directly impacting the wildlife that depends on those plants. <laughs> what a thing to, to read in chat. <laughs> I just picture him like Family Guy death pose. Like in front of like a fucking supermarket or something in Miami. And most disturbingly... <laughs> As the appearances of withering zones have started to increase, Kale's case of Elazar has also become more serious. Huh? Well, why is that? I'm still not sure. In front of a exactly Publix. <laughs> However, I've received word from acquaintances at the <laughs> academia that similar cases are being reported for patients with other conditions. No, none that we know of. The withering has been recorded in Sumeru for millennia. It said that it Space Vision, thank you so much for subscribing. World. And yes, I did get my free call. Oh, oh, by the way, have you heard of Ermin Soul before? By the way, have you heard of this? No, I haven't. Ermin Soul is a tree located deep beneath the surface. Although oh, okay, so like tree the tree that we in saw in my. Sense, you can basically think of it as a large tree that grows downwards rather than upwards. I'm assuming that's the tree that I saw during my. Um, my 420 weed trip. My my Zaza trip. My uh my fat doinks uh trip. Smoking fat doinks. Gang. I'm sure you've heard of ley lines, right? They're like the roots of Ermin Soul, spreading and extending from a massive cavern deep underground all the way up to the surface. <laughs> Tainari's just standing there as as I say out loud, smoking that fat weed, smoking that, that good good, smoking that Bhutanese shadow garden grown dark evil pack. I've got that gorilla pack. The kind of shit that you find in a market in Azerbaijan. Shadow Wizard Weed. Ley lines the, the good oregano the snorting gorilla glue. Which are then funneled into Ermin Soul, allowing it to collect. <laughs> this is all just a copy pasta that I'm that I'm remembering, day. guys. I don't believe in any of this. The Dendro Archon is known as the God of Wisdom because her consciousness is directly connected to the it. Gorilla Grip Pack. It is also said that the Dendro Archon's power is a manifestation of Ermin Soul. And as for the withering, its emergence is related to a disease that's affecting it. Huh? You mean Ermansol is sick? That's right. My ancestors learned of this from Greater Lord Ruka Devada's familiars a long time ago. But even those mysterious creatures did not know of a cure for Ermansol. <sighs> I'm afraid we rangers will be battling the withering zones here for a long time. Hamburger. Until a cure is found. All right, that's enough on this topic for the time being. Now that we've taken care of things here, it's time for us to head back to Kandarvaville. This quote from quote from man who's only played Elden Ring. This is just like Elden Ring. Big tree, but but it's bad? Do we have to go and become the Elden Lord to heal the tree? 
That's what it boils down to in the end, right? Yeah, it's weird that Tainari wasn't voiced for the longest time, but I'm glad that he is now. Alright, I have to go all the way back up there. Is there a, is there a jumpy mushroom? Is there a mushroom? I guess I can just climb up. I'll, I'll wait for my... My teensy tiny little stamina bar to recover. <laughs> yeah, after 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 uh, looking for weed, now we're looking for shroom. Oh, hamburger redeem. Hamburger. Next time, instead of saying hamburger, say cheeseburger. There's a reason why it's specifically hamburger and not cheeseburger. Maybe I'll have another redeem that's cheeseburger. Oh, Tainari, you all made it back. How did it go? The withering zone you reported has been taken care of. No need to worry. Hamburger. Huh? Wait, is that bird? Om doodler redeem. Oh, I, I love it. Hamburger. Look at that bird. Oh no, Papaya. Wait, huh? Huh? Uh, thank you so much, Invisible String, for the Prime Gaming sub. Wait, Papaya has turned into a bird. Is it uh, what? Huh? What's wrong, Tainari? What? Huh? This dusk bird is Hapasia's designated courier for oh, urgent news. Oh, okay. Uh, you do remember her, don't you? She's the scholar you and Paimon were following when you first arrived in Sumeru. Oh, her? How could we forget? Uh, so did something happen? Let me see what's written in the letter first. Hmm. Uh, Dear Tainari. This wasn't weed. Signed, Hypasia. So what's it say? And what's with that weird expression on your face? <laughs> uh, just let Paimon read it. It's, it's like that, that tweet from, uh, from Snoop where he just said in all caps, GOOD WEED. <laughs> and I think somebody retweeted it and said like, if Snoop is saying good weed on a strain, like, if I were to smoke it, I'd probably be left, like, I'd, ju I'd probably just end up at, like, a smoking crater with, like, my shoes just, like, <laughs> with smoke coming out of them like a fucking cartoon character. Huh? Uh, all Paimon sees are three squiggly lines. Oh my, it, oh my, it, wait, she, she legit is just tripping. <sighs> yes, uh, allow me to explain after we brought you from Hapasia's cave to Gandarvaville... What's Kaveh's dream blunt rotation? That's, um, that's we talk that I cannot follow. She must have just finished. It's been nearly three days since she's had anything to eat, and it appears she's forgotten to prepare some rations. This letter is her asking us for help. We need to go. Angel's Crown, please at least get eight hours of sleep before you work, or else you will regret it. What? You mean she's been sitting there for three days? Hey, wait, how did you know all that from just a few lines on the paper? Who would Kave smoke weed with? <laughs> well, obviously because this um, has happened before. Last time she drew five lines, and by the time I found her, <laughs> well, I'd prefer not to remember that. God. What a what a question to ask. I promise it won't be just weed talk the whole way through this. This, I know it's the Dendro re uh, region, guys, but um, uh, it's I'm I'm sure we'll we'll run out of dank Kush jokes to make. Needless to say, hapage has been through worse, but we should still get to her as quickly as possible. Weed Nash, and yeah, Kave's an alcoholic. He isn't about that that uh 
that sticky icky. I've got some emergency rations set aside for times like these. Paimon, traveler, could you two bring these to her? He's not into those 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 jeebie weebies. The sticky bricky skunk skunk. Wait, you want us to bring her the rations? Uh but will the traveler be okay if her cave is still filled with that funny insect? Let's find out. Here, traveler. Take a smell and see. So, <laughs> how do you feel? Gamers! <laughs> how do I feel, gamers? <laughs> oh my god, he, he really is just pulling out his weed orb. <laughs> and he's like... Traveler, check this out. Check this shit out. It's a light, refreshing fragrance. Good strain. Good huh? strain. Really? You're not feeling even a little drowsy? He'd be okay this time, Kainari. Back when we were clearing the withering zone, I observed that he could adeptly Gamers. manipulate the dendro element. I knew then that he would be fine. And if I may ask, when I was telling you two about Ermin Soul's ley lines, was what I described similar at all to what you saw when you were unconscious? When I, was, I actually got transported into the Erd Tree, is what you're saying. That's correct. Those weren't hallucinations at all. Though I don't intend to apologize for deceiving you. I got so high, I gazed upon, upon uh, Yggdrasil, the world tree. Because what you saw is of significance. Oh, it's a dog! Not just for the nation of Sumeru. Wait, Kave, Kave is blocking it on the stream in this that. shot. He's right behind, right behind the Kave. My forefathers were shown much Look faith at that in dog. Lord Ruka Devada. We took an oath to protect this nation together with her. Now that that duty has fallen to me, it was a part of my responsibilities to ascertain whether you could be entrusted with the fate of Sumeru. I love how Tainari is giving us this really important speech. And I'm just like, look at that dog! Look at the little puppy! Now, after seeing you in action with my own eyes, you have earned my confidence, and I no longer feel the need to hide any secrets from you. <laughs> puppy get us? <laughs> When you passed out, your consciousness had connected directly with Ermansoul. What you witnessed were actually real memories contained within Ermansoul itself. Hamburger. Um, I mean, whenever Tainari pulls out the weed orb, he's basically doing the Geddes meme to us. I could try to tell you more, but it would be better if you went to ask Hapasia instead. Her focus on meditation and use of spirit borneal are aimed at establishing a connection with Ermin Soul, just as you did. Uh, that sounds nice and all, but will she really help us? Seriously, she completely ignored us the last time we tried talking to her. That was because when you ran into her, she was in a special phase of her training. During that time, she must Bark. avoid communicating with us. <laughs> Dog, we're, we're trying our best to, to listen to this important dialogue. <laughs> Please, wait here for a moment. What the dog doing? Oh, we really are just waiting here. Okay. There it goes. <laughs> the dog's just part of our party at this point. Here, take these. Bird up. It's a meal I packed for Hapasia, as well as some other ingredients. I'm sure it'll come in handy. Also, here's a letter that I would like you to give to her. Just show it to her, and she'll answer any questions you may have. <laughs> no, I should be the one thanking you. You've both been a great help these last few days. Didn't League of Legends add, like, a dog as their uh, next Bork champion? Nafidi. Go and rescue Hy Hy Hypasia. Dang, the weed is too dank. We need to save her from a bad trip. Even though I don't think it's really possible to have a bad trip with weed. Although I guess, like, if your anxiety spikes during it, it can get, like, annoying. But not annoying, that's not the right word, but, like, uncomfortable, Hypasia yeah. should still be in the cave. Let's go inside and see how she's doing. 
I do get spikes of, like, paranoia when that happens. I think you need to just, when you, when you indulge in the devil's lettuce, you just need to be in, like, a, a comfortable state of mind, and I think it'll be okay. And, like, do it with, uh, like, people that you trust around you, to keep an eye on you. The first time I did it, I did it with, uh, my roommate back in college, and he, we, he made, uh, brownies. And, like, I was like, I want you to be here with me when this happens, because this is my first time, uh, doing it. And he was like, yeah, yeah, sure, sure thing. Uh, and then he hmm. ate his brownie and then immediately fell asleep. Where's my key? And I was, I was like, why the fuck would you do that? <laughs> so I was like, okay, don't panic. Don't panic. What do I do? Uh, so I immediately went to YouTube and looked up, uh, people falling over a compilation. And I just watched compilations of people falling over, and it was the funniest shit I have ever seen. And, like, I had a great time. I spent, like, three hours watching just videos of people slipping on ice or just, like, tripping over themselves. And I was laughing so hard. And my roommate actually woke up from his weed sleep, and he was like, Oh, what are you doing? And I'm just like, Don't worry about it! I'm having a great time! And then he fell back asleep. And then the, the day after, he was like, God, I couldn't even sleep because you were laughing so hard. It's like, yeah, because you you left me alone. So I had to entertain myself by looking at videos of people falling over because it was really funny. So that's why whenever, like, anybody wants to partake, I'm like, just watch a video of people falling over and you'll be so entertained. It's so much fun. I legit, like, laughed for three hours straight. Like, I, I just went from video to video. And it was non-stop laughter. It was great. It was wonderful. Mm. Maybe she went out to look for some food. Let's try looking around the area. Please indulge in, uh, in legal, uh, legal substances. Uh, responsibly, please. Thank you. What was that sound? What was that noise? Oh, there was another time where I was with other friends, again, back in college. Uh, and I was hanging out with a, a friend that was very good at making me laugh really hard. Um, and again, like I went on like a two, three hour streak of just nonstop laughter because he wouldn't stop saying jokes. GoPod11, thank you for subscribing, by the way. I forgot to point that one out. And Space Vision, thank you. Um... Yeah, so it was just non-stop, ha 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 and it was, uh, it was, it was a nightmare. I couldn't stop laughing. What the f what the fuck? What the fuck? What are you? It's so cute! What the fuck? Huh? What? Huh? 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 What? Uh, is it kicking in? Is, is it kicking? Oh, what? Why? Monkey. Hi, Patia. Are you all right? Uh, uh. So hungry. <coughs> Need water. 
hamburger. There's no way we can get her to eat in her current condition. Uh, let's try finding some water first. Huh? She got the munchies. <laughs> Why does it look super foggy outside all of a sudden? Uh, anyway, let's go look around. Go through the mist. Huh? Hey, what's up? Yeah, how's it going? Like this. What happened? And where are we? Why does this shit keep happening? <laughs> there must be a logical explanation for all of this. Una cebolla gigante. Yeah, it's a big old fucking onion. See, look, if this is why you always have a buddy, if you're going to indulge in, in, um, in, uh, in controlled substances and, or legal substances, uh, cause if Paimon was here by herself, uh, she'd be terrified. Weed, that's the explanation. <laughs> Do you want to be my buddy? Um, I mean, I, I, I will be the, the designated driver if people need me to be. What do you mean, door of resurrection activated? What, what do you, what do you mean? Hamburger. What do you mean? Wow, this place is huge. Do not drive while under the influence of any kind of uh, medication. Don't do it. You're going to have a terrible time. It's not worth it. Order an Uber. Or get a friend. Oh, it's a domain? Okay, that makes sense. Wait, no. Wow, I got the adventurer's flower. <laughs> Kabe would be drunk in the backseat, stuffing his mouth with hamburger. Uh, oh. You will sometimes find bouncy mushrooms of this sort in Sumeru's domains. The reasons for which these mushrooms are not one of the Trilakshana creatures are unknown, but must be quite fascinating indeed. Hamburger. What do you, what do you, um... Wh why... Why did the tutorial be like, Hey, isn't this interesting? Like, yeah, I guess it is. Try to get to the special cave. What makes the cave so special? Okay. Like, fuck this, Scoob. I, I'm going to pull out... Uh, um, no. Wait, no, I can't. It's a domain. Shit. I was going to switch to... to... to Wanderer. Oh, there we go. After Spider-Man. Oh, uh, uh, Wait. What's happening? Hmm. Guys, Where's I really don't think that was weed. Huh? Am I in Inazuma? Investigate the quaint room. This does look like Inazuma. Oh. This is just shadow. I'm I'm going to a new shard. This is just Final Fantasy 14 again. You will sometimes find primeval rosin and sealed pass that correspond to them within domains in Sumeru. Collect three primeval rosins within these domains to unlock the corresponding path. Okay. Okay, we're back here. 
I did not realize that this story would delve into this kind of stuff. I'm very happy that I didn't watch any of the streams of, like, the first part, because this is really cool. <laughs> Oh, there's boys here. Quiet now. No, my sword. The doctor will see. The doctor will see. Let me, let me scan. There we go. I don't need no stinking elemental burst. Oh. Actually, no. I'll burst for for this part of it. These are about to get down. Remember, health comes first. Uh -huh. Let me weave you a breaking new ground. Take the check. Do the do you voice the action lines as I play? Like, are you saying like if that's what I did to record for this game? Uh, because no, they they played uh, some footage of. 10.8k, what do you mean by that? What do you- what do you mean by that? Are there 10,000 people watching the stream? If so, I'm going to- I'm going to expire. Oh, damage, right. I really don't think this is weed. <laughs> Ooh. Okay. I've got two of the thingy ma thingy ma bobs now. Ooh. Bloom. Ooh. No, I think we're I think we're experiencing something else. Something stronger. Something more visceral. We got all three of the gubbins, at least. Ooh. Yeah, this is full EM, Kaveh. Oh. Ba -ba 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 -bum. <laughs> like a panic attack? <laughs> no. Activate. Oh. From within your mind. What in Tibet is going on here? This place is getting weirder by the minute. <gasps> hey, what's the matter? You don't look here so good. You are. Why are we here? I don't understand. This is so pretty, though. Oh. Well, no. Oh, okay. Why? Why is it perp? What? Huh. Wait. It. Wh why did? Why is it like a JPEG now? What happened? so cool. This is such an interesting thing. I kind of wish the prompt door to resurrection activated didn't happen every time I, like, quantum leaped. Because it would add to the mystique, but um, like, they should make it pop up here or something. Hey kids, it's talented voice actor Kellen Goff. Ah, Sam Ritherald, what are you planning to do in this strange place? Strange place, plotting. <laughs> you needn't worry about such things. They don't concern you. Oh god, I love Kellen. 
happens so much. No. No, my soul. Rain outlines your face. Come at me. Oh. A bit of help to swallow. Quietly now. I don't have Nahida. Well, that's why I'm using Baiju. Here comes the cash. Seems like an emergency. Rain cutter. Watch and learn. Scanning. Oh, he's doing his stupid thing. Wow, forced invincibility, look at that. Could have been, I could have finished him, but the game was like, no, you're killing him too fast. Oh, I need cryo? Oh, this is one of the things I hate about this game. Oh, never mind. It's, it's plot. It's plot. But seriously, I hate it when, like, I'm forced to use an element. Like, I really don't like that. If, if, if I want to beat somebody, I should be able to do it with any team I want. But, like, if there are specific weaknesses or resistances, it shouldn't be, like, a full resistance. Like, oh, this thing resists Dendro. Make it do half damage. Making it so I can't use an element completely because the game said so like makes me want to want to just die i hate th i hate that so much it's so limiting this game's one of the game's biggest strengths is team building and i think that bosses that don't let you use that to the fullest are just cringe traveler though you may have managed to avert countless crises before your good fortune was bound to end sooner or later. It's time you realize how weak and powerless Cold you pizza or cold really goulash? Are. I've never had goulash from what I remember. And yes, I will be doing Kaveh's Hangout when, uh, when we get to it. But one step at a time. My journey will not end here. I still must find my sister. Your sister. <laughs> Traveler, are you really so ignorant? Or are you just living in complete denial? How does it feel hearing yourself with Kave when you play him? It feels weird, man. It feels it feels weird. It feels Monka S. Yeah, there's a lot of food. I have a very restrictive diet because I've got Crohn's disease, so there's a lot of dishes that I just haven't eaten. What am I eating? I just took a sip of water. Stepped upon the bonds of love and family which drive you to find your sibling are utterly gone. Your journey is meaningless. Man really said that the power of friendship is cringe. But don't you fret now. Today will be your last. No die. Who's coming in with that by God, it's Sora Kingdom Hearts with the chair. He's going for the the pile driver. Oh. I guess I died. Damn. I hear I hear system noises. Oh. Ugh. Huh? What was all that just now? Strange. It feels like I was just dreaming for a moment there, but I can't remember what I saw. Hmm. What do we do? We haven't seen Hub 
Hypatia anywhere out here. Oh god, you're still here. Oh, there she is. Quick, let's see how she's doing. Ah, oh, so sweet. Mm. I think she got the good strain. Well, the good news is that she's still conscious. Hey, why'd you drop her food on the floor like that? Was all of that just me being completely catatonic and Paimon was just watching us trip balls? And she just didn't do... She. D oh, guess that makes sense. She does look kind of rough at the moment. Anyways, we can talk about this later. We better make sure she's alright first. Paimon's a good example of somebody you shouldn't bring with you the first time you indulge in, uh, in, in legal substances. Whoa! Wait a sec. Look at all this fruit lying around her. We can put that to good use. Zohakten? Wait, why are you saying that? Wait, 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 why are you saying that? Why are you saying that? Hey, what's up? What happened? Did something happen? Oh shit, they announced it? Oh, fuck yeah! Um... Wait, let me, let me link it in chat. Um, I'll spam it. I was wondering when they were going to do this. I knew it was going to be soon. Um, but yeah, just announced I'm going to I'm in Demon Slayer, baby! I'm Zohakten. Oh, I was I was really hoping that they would announce it today, so that makes me happy. I'm one of the sexy ones, uh, I I suppose. Yeah, this is like the other big announcement that I was really Oof. looking forward to. So, Oof. heck yeah, on Kaveh's birthday too. Yeah. That makes me really happy. I'm gonna have to like make an actual post and everything. Uh, after the stream's done, I think. Um, you gotta commit. I mean, Demon Slayer's great. Like, actually, don't watch it just because of me, but like, watch it because it's, it's good. Like, it's so incredibly well animated. It's a tour de force of animation. Oh my god, thank you so much for gifting a sub, Anonymous, to Jelly Me. Uh, did I get to work with Zach Aguilar during it all? Nope. Uh, the thing about voice acting is that most of the time it's just me and the director and the engineer. There's not that much interplay between um, actors. But yeah, super excited for that one. Really, really excited. Can I link it again? It's legit, um... I'm gonna retweet it real quick, so you can just go on my Twitter and see the announcement. Or, yeah, Zerker's got you. Yeah, uh, Zach is, is Tanjiro, the, uh, the main character of Demon Slayer. I'm going to keep going with the story so we can do a bit more progress. Uh, who is there? Tainari, is that you? Uh, Alejandro is on... I think so? Yeah, he is. He is. Huh? It's okay. You can relax. She really said, huh? Tainari sent us here to bring you some food and water. Here, we have a letter that he asked us to give you. I don't remember who Alejandro plays. I feel like um, I, I've only watched the first, uh, like, 12 episodes of Demon Slayer. 
I really need to start catching up, and I don't remember if Alejandro's character shows up then. Zenitsu's big bro? I see. So, you're friends Yeah, Koi's again. also a character. I apologize for all the trouble I've caused you. Yeah, there are a lot of Genshin VAs in, in Demon Slayer, it feels like. I'm grateful that you came so quickly to save me. You even brought all this fruit. Uh, well, actually, we didn't bring the fruit. It was already here when we arrived. We were kind of wondering about that, actually. When we found you here, there was all this fruit lying around and even some juice dripping from your lips. Uh, how did you end up like this anyway? Um, I know, um, you can, honestly, Zerka, you can just pin that, uh, tweet. Um, I know that, uh, the Luke's actor, Sean, he voices a demon early on that shows up for, like, a, well, like, a mini arc. Evening Lantern, thank you so much for gifting a sub to Misty-Eyed Memer. Kai Gaku. Okay. Oh, really? Yeah, the swamp. I, I think it's I he's legit called that. Swamp Demon or something. All the fruit was likely from my uh, neighbor. Must he voices Shrek like in this. Demon Slayer. Your neighbor? You mean there's someone else living nearby? Kind of like a cabbage. <laughs> oh, so you're able to see them too? Oh wait, are they are they like Moogles? Are they, are they, uh, Tevat's equivalent you of Moogles? That before we arrived, you saw some mysterious creature and suddenly had a strange dream? Isn't that a little too crazy to believe? No, I actually do believe what the Traveler is saying. I myself had a similar experience once before and ended up scaring my timid little neighbor here. You needn't worry. They mean you no harm. They only dragged you into the dream because they hoped to buy themselves a little time in order to scurry away. Hamburger. So, Hypatia, just Aranara. what kind of creature is hmm. your neighbor exactly? I'm not sure what it's called, to be honest. But I do know that they have some sort of deeper connection with the Dendro Archon. Koroks, okay. I kind of I kind of get the vibe. I know this because the first time I saw them was also the exact day my consciousness was able to form a connection with Ermin's soul. Even after I opened my eyes and stopped meditating, my heart was still pounding, and my mind was racing with all the knowledge that I had touched. Th is this... this is like Avatar when they connect their hair into the tree, right? And at that very moment, I suddenly noticed a small figure at the opening of the cave. Like the the big blue people avatar, not last airbender avatar. In my curiosity, I began to walk over to the creature. They must have already been used to me living in the cave, because they didn't seem to mind me approaching them. They just kept doing whatever they were up to. Look at his little dance. It's so cute, what the fuck? And yeah, that's the that's the one time Avatar will be referenced by a human being this month. It's still it's still so funny to me that that movie made so much money and like revolutionized so much, but nobody ever talks about it. It wasn't until I crouched down next to them that they suddenly realized that I could see them. Oh, and then you saved me. Why, mm. monkey? And then, I had a dream. By the time I came to, they were nowhere to be seen. I was convinced they'd never show up again. But, sure enough, I saw them nearby a few the days later. The little Aranara face that you guys are alone. doing. I feel like they aren't as afraid of me as the first time I approached them. Oh. But I never would have expected them to save me. Oh, what fascinating creatures. Yes, no doubt about that. By the way, Tainari mentioned in his letter that you had questions for me regarding hey, how's it going? A curious sound rumbling. <laughs> Sorry about that. 
Sounds like just drinking juice still isn't quite enough for my stomach. Bro, you're juicing? Well, if somebody hadn't dropped the food earlier... Uh, anyway, looks like we'll need to prepare something ourselves. Besides, Hyman's nice. getting hungry too. Let's eat first and talk about Ermensol later. Guys, if you have to go because it's getting late, please do that. Don't don't hang. I'm going to be streaming, I think, after this cutscene. I'm going to call it. Because, uh, or rather, maybe when I get back and, um, talk to whoever I need to talk to after this cutscene. Love them, Hypatia. There are specialties after all. Mm, sounds good. I've never tried any dishes from other nations before. I certainly look forward to it. It's been so long since I've had a decent meal, too. To be honest, the TBH. last time had to be when Tainari came to visit. <laughs> Thank you, Nutalmut, for gifting uh, a sub to Hannah Hug. Make some food by the fireside. Why the why the why the fuck is your the fire so over here? Why? Why this? Uh, who do I have for fire? I don't have any fire team. I will literally just, just fucking just. What's your objective? Yeah. Okay. I don't need to light it. Are you sure? She wanted a sweet madame. Is that enough? No, probably not. Make lunchbox? Oh. Oh. I'm... I'm foolish. Look, I was expecting them to, like... Let's use the empty box that Tainari gave us since we already watched it. Why, why can't I just cook, like, directly with the cooking system that's already in the game? Why is it like, hey, don't use the cooking system use a separate prompt that will automate the cooking system. Oh, it smells amazing. And the box is a nice touch too. Let's go serve this up and start eating with Hapasia. You've accomplished nothing, Deluke. You've done nothing. Uh, who's your favorite character you voiced and why? Um... I love all my boys. Uh, I mean, Kaveh has been one of the most interesting characters I've voiced, just because, like, he, there's so much of myself that I see in him. Um, but, so, uh, Pedro is definitely one from One Piece. Uh, I mean, Sakuragi in, uh, Slam Dunk is really... I've always wanted to voice a delinquent, and I've always wanted to voice a character in a sports anime. And Sakuragi is literally the sports delinquent of of all time. So that movie I'm really I'm really happy that I got to do that Are movie. Are you already finished cooking? Mmm, smells delectable. I'm truly thankful whenever I can enjoy a proper meal like this. Uh, cooking really isn't my forte. Take that! Oh, take that! Who's my favorite character from One Piece besides Pedro Sanji? It's still and Brooke. hard to believe you were able to connect with Ermansoul immediately after smelling Spirit Borneo for the first time. And honestly, like Whole Cake is uh, is what made me like a bigger fan of both Sanji and Brooke. It took me nearly three years. They both had such so. like good moments in that. And everyone at the academia even lauded me as a genius. You should know that some researchers spent their entire lives without ever successfully connecting with Ermin Soul as you have. So why does this incense allow people to connect to Ermin Soul? Who's my favorite Genshin character that isn't Kave? Unironically, I'll hate them. He's just cool. 
The ingredients used to make spirit born ale primarily consist of plants created by Greater Lord Ruka Devata. These special ingredients are conducive to heightening our senses to the Dendro Archon's power. Since the root of the Dendro Archon's power lies within Ermansoul, we can occasionally tap into her powers to peer into the depths of the earth. I mean, like, literally all it takes for me to enjoy a character is if they're cool. And, like, me, me monkey brain see it, uh, see action and neuron activate, and then me say, this is cool, and me enjoy. Naturally. Anyone who can establish a connection with favorite Ernest harbinger, I really um. Of great understanding. Fuck, what's her name? She just uh, she's in the Fontaine one. Um. Is that our is that our Lucino? Yeah, our Lucino. Uh, her design looks really sick. Uh, the only problem I have with it is that I really wish she didn't have the long braided hair. If she just had short hair, uh, like we all thought she would, um, I think that would make her design better. But uh, just like her outfit and like her weird like gloves that are actually part of like a bodysuit, like those are all, her design is really cool. But I definitely don't like that she has the big long tail that everybody seems to have. Hmm. Makes sense. The Paimon's got a question. What yeah, the, like that's what I mean. Like her actual that those are just her time. weird hand skin hand things. That was She's cool. She's got a really cool design. Constitution. Stimulated by the incense, he could perceive the Dendro Archon's power and experience the sensory overload. It's just the hair. The yeah. Adverse reactions. From the front um from the front she looks great. But like once I see that the the hair, the long hair thing, like it's I I it's bad. I don't like it. And she's wearing pants, yeah. He, she just looks clean. Um, what Fontaine characters am I looking forward to? Uh, probably uh, uh, which the the girl of the the clown twins. Lynette, Lynette. Taking in any scent similar to the ingredients of spirit born ale would cause adverse effects. Would Kaveh like geckos? Probably. They're pretty cute. Not to worry, though. It appears you've already fully recovered. Technically, your body should still be sensitive to the powers of the Dendro Archon. But unless you're using intentional meditation techniques, the scent of spirit born ale should no longer trigger such reactions. What anime touched you after watching, like Hit the Heart, uh, Given? Whew. Well, that's a relief. I must admit, it I was really, uh, abilities. Even if it Given was just so good. Pounding headaches for the rest of my life, I consider it worthwhile so long as I could connect with Ermisol at will. Whoa, you're really serious about this whole thing, aren't you? <laughs> I am a researcher, after all. As a member of the Ritawes Darshan at the Academia, my main area of research is the stars oh and their connection to the fate of living beings. There it is. But there is still so much we don't know, especially regarding the mysteries that lie in the starry skies. Which is why I must turn to the all-knowing Ermansoul for answers. If only my perception wasn't so limited. Unfortunately, I cannot guarantee that my every attempt to attune with Ermansoul will be successful. Or that doing so will leave my consciousness intact. Bro, you need more insight. You must seek the old blood. I am currently in the stage of training known as Satyavada Life. Many researchers in Sumeru have lost their minds while seeking to attune with Ermansoul during this stage. Sages have said that Ermansoul contains divine knowledge. And touching such knowledge without the proper preparations and abilities will only lead to one's mind caving in on itself. Th this is literally like... Is this a Bloodborne? This is a Bloodborne reference! She, she, you need high insight to, to uh, see the mysteries of the universe. That's why we meditate alone. 
we need to ensure that our minds will be calm while minimizing the possibility of involving anyone else. Wow. So knowledge from Earth Whoa. will be super dangerous. Don't you ever feel afraid of the risk, Capasia? Of course I do. Especially during nights that are pitch black with no moonlight and dead silent without even the sound of insects. Thank you for stopping by, Marcelo Frias. Really appreciate it. However, I've been feeling better as of late. I don't get as scared anymore knowing that I have a little neighbor living nearby. I believe that being able to see them is a sort of blessing from the Dendro Archon. Yeah, all the Fontaine characters look interesting. Um, I, I, the, the, I hope that the person with the gun in the trailer actually gets to use the gun. Because I've been joking with people that the next uh, weapon class in Genshin should be gun. And if she's the first gun character, that would be really funny. <laughs> but what's strangest of all is that they're clearly an envoy of the God of Wisdom herself. And they have the curious power to make people dream. If she uses a sword for all her attacks and then just has gun as her ability, that, uh, I mean, I guess that'd also be fine. What's so strange about But that? I just want to shoot Doesn't the gun. Doesn't sound a lot of place for a divine being, does it? Well, it's strange because nearly nobody in Sumeru can ever dream. I really hope she isn't a bow character. Ah, is that true? Yes, well, to an extent. Only children can dream in Sumeru. Adults, however, never do. Oh god, a catalyst, and her catalyst is a gun. The sages say that I mean, I guess that would be one way of implementing it, but... but... That which occurs in dreams is often neither rational nor logical. Big chaotic mess. Yes, if one struggles with anxieties, those emotions could influence their dreams. The fact that the people of Sumeru do not have dreams is seen as a blessing by the sages. They believe that Greater Lord Ruka Devata, the God of Wisdom, is keeping us away from the foolish delusions you encounter in your sleep. I'm already, I'm already enjoying uh, this. This is already, it feels so different from the other region stories. Where it was like, hey, stuff is happening, you should help. But here it's like a lot more mystical. And more, uh, more like, oh, this is happening to me. I'm just not participating in like an activity. With other people. I was born into a family of scholars in Sumeru City. Ever since I was a child, my parents would always tell me that I'll know I've grown up once I stop dreaming. I studied hard, enrolled as a student in the academia, and went on to become a researcher. <sighs> sure enough, I never dreamed again. But then, on the day I scared the little Aranara, I suddenly saw a dream again. Why is Kaveh's shoes attached to his outfit? I don't, I'm not the character designer, so I couldn't tell you. It was incredible. Though I don't exactly remember what I saw, I clearly recall the feeling. I suddenly felt like I was a child again. Back then, I was foolish and ignorant as any youth would She be. really is just telling us her I life story. Fear. Maybe dreaming isn't as bad as we've made it out to be. <clears throat> What's my favorite part of Kaveh's sure design? His cape. This, if you travel to Sumeru City, they'll look at you as if you've lost your mind. So, do you have any thoughts about the things he saw when he connected with Ermensul? Sorry, I'm afraid I don't have any answers as of now. All I can say is that what you saw is a memory contained within Ermensul. Thanks for stopping himself. by, Nine of Clays. Really appreciate it. Hmm. World, forget me. What could that possibly mean? Uh, if only I could ascend past Will there be a Q&A? No. I'm, I'm, after this cutscene's done, it's more for you. going way longer than I thought it would. Uh, I'll start wrapping up the stream because I do need to go do stuff other. Do other stuff. Uh, if you two are ever in the area again, please be sure to come and see me. Thanks, Apasia. There's no need to be thanking me. You two are my saviors. Besides... I'm already looking forward to tasting some more of your cooking. <laughs> Are we just napping in the cave? Now that we know her page okay. is all right and had the chance to ask her some questions, Paimon thinks it's about time to head back to Gundarvaville. 
All right, so we took a nap in the cave, and now we're gonna go back to Gundarmaville. Uh, will I be streaming soon again to continue? Yes, I will. I might be streaming at some point this week, maybe Thursday, I would say. Unless I get uh, told to do things, uh, in which case I'll I'll tweet and let you guys know when it'll happen. Um, but yeah, that's um, that's all we've got for today. We accomplished. Uh, was that like a fair amount? Am I a fair amount into chapter one? I feel like I didn't even make that much of a dent, but uh, I'm curious. I'm very curious. Is chapter one the longest part of this? Or act one, I guess? All of it is long? Oh shit. <laughs> that's uh... That's fun. Um, but yeah, thank you so much, everybody, for stopping by, for giving subs, for, for all the follows, for everything. It's, it's so, it's so nice to do this stuff. It's fun to hang out with y'all. Who should we raid? Let me look up. Who's, who's online? Who's doing stuff? Uh, oh, Sean is streaming. Yeah, uh, let's raid Sean. The Luke's voice actor, everybody. Uh, Sonic Mega. Uh, stream message. I, I'm so, I, I'm terrible at them. Uh, maybe uh, just a feast arise. I guess in all caps, feast arise. Yeah. Um, but yeah, again, thank you so much, all of you. Uh, I'll tweet out when the next stream is happening, so uh, I'll see you all then. Uh, have a good rest of the weekend, and a good start to your week. And bye! Give you a big ol' kiss, mwah! There he goes, okay.